Hi Creepies, and welcome to the VOD version of Coffee Chat of Horrors. Uh, this Sunday we discussed Tim Burton, Queenie Todd, and Batman. So please enjoy the show. If you like what you see here on YouTube, make sure you hit that like, flash that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. So every time I post a video or go live, you get notified. As well as down below, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's show. You want to catch me live? Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. over on Mixer.com forward slash reanimate her. And on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time for Coffee Chat of Horrors. Ashes later. Bye bye Good morning. How are we this morning? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me just scroll up here. Metro Birdman. Mwah. Thank you for that host. Batty Page. Thank you for that host. Regal. Mwah. Batty Page. Mwah. Regal. Mwah. Dillinger Banks. Thank you for those hosts. Do Exclamation Point Morgue, guys. Exclamation Point Morgue. Good morning. Batman and Devil Dog. Mwah. Thank you for that host. Miss Chicken Arms. Mwah. Thank you for that host. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. Spore. How are you, sweetness? Um, PJ, hello. Good morning. Tenaciously, ah, thank you for that host. Yes, you can watch. You can watch and only watch. Killing and dying, ah, thank you for that host. Hello, hooligan, how are you? Zoom and charmed. Good day, how are we? Serial killer, good morning. Zoom Nation, Mwah. thank you for that host. Serial killer, Mwah. thank you for that host. I do appreciate it. Explanation Point Morgue, everybody. Explanation Point Morgue will get you 10,000 limbs on your hour. Remember that. Good evening to you. Uh, so help me God, if I see you say got it or do anything, exactly Dillinger, exactly. Good morning, Elegant Chaos. How are you? Hello, General Issues. Elegant Chaos, Mwah. thank you for that host. We've got some announcements to make. Right, Regal? Right? Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, one of our very own Batman Goddess um, and 26 Ninjas had baby Leon yesterday at, uh, what was it, 1.13 in the afternoon. Well, that was, I think, um, their time. Baby Hype, Leon is born. Um, so he's here. Go Klepto. Mwah, thank you for that host. So let's do a little congratulations to 26 Ninjas and Batman. Uh, Leon was born yesterday. He is friggin' adorable. If you've missed the pictures, if you want to go see the baby hype, uh, there are some amazing pictures up in Discord. Uh, so you can go and check them out. If you are part of our Discord, uh, there are some in general and in the all pick section. Baby, right? Yes. Yeah, so our little newest horde member is here. We've been waiting for his arrival. Let me tell you. Ah, congratulations, Twenty Six Inches and Batman. Welcome, Leon. I'm so excited you're here. Miss Mayhem. Mwah, thank you for that host, Michelle. Thank you for that auto host. Hello, Falcon. How are you, darling? Ah, uh, one thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Explanation point more. The youngest horde member. Mm-hmm. As of right now, nope, we don't have to wait any longer. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend, Falcon. Mwah, thank you for that host. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I am at 100% today. I'm a little quiet because the household is still sleeping. Um, but health-wise, I'm 100%, so I'm fucking stoked. Uh, this morning, we've got a great chat for you guys. Uh, Tim Burton is our, is our subject. Off of Tim Burton, we're going to go into Sweeney Todd and then into Batman. Uh, Dahi, mwah, thank you for that host. I hope everyone is doing great. As you notice, there's a little light in here. I'm going to be messing around with adding lighting to the background. Instead of having a bright white spotlight in the back, I'm looking at setting up an RGB, like a four light setup, four point light setup in the back uh, with RGBs. With, you know, so we could have red and green and maybe a purple background. A little antique doll. Mwah, thank you for that host. How are you doing, mini chatters? My nose is like running. Got my coffee here. This is to Mr. Cranky Canuck. 
And we all know the power of coffee is that man's hashtag. And this is a web show. Um, this web show has been inspired by that man. So, uh, I need some coffee. Well, we're going to start off with some Tim Burton. Mm, yes. Tim Burton, he's really good. You doing good, Mini Cheddars? You still have your mug? Elegant, can you send me a picture of that mug, please? Or with you holding it? I am creating the power of coffee, Miss Mayhem. Hell yes. I am creating a uh, video for all Horde members that have merch, whether they won the merch, bought the merch, or whatever it may be. But I am in the process of making a video that's going to be up on the scene all the time. Uh, Tim Burton, he's really good. Mm, end of stream, right? Uh, Ra was also on set. Oh. <laughs> anxiety with that shit. But yes, we were. We have some. We have some top secret stuff. Top secret stuff for you guys. We were on. I was on set yesterday. Yesterday I was on set. Um, that's all I'm gonna tell you. But uh, we have some. We have some stuff. We have some stuff. Oh yes, Falcon. It reset on December twenty. It's December thirty first. Sorry. All of our stuff resets on at the end of the year. So brains reset on the thirty first of every month, and limbs resets every month. But don't forget explanation point morgue, and uh, you will get ten thousand limbs every hour on your hour. Okay, I figured it out. Otis, all all uh, ruse. The picks are fake. They just didn't want me to win. But Leon is still in his nice little warm, cozy spot awaiting the thirtieth. We do need to give Wild Moonflower when they're here. Uh, their limbs and brains because uh, Wild Moonflower was the only one to pick the 25th. So congratulations Wild Moonflower on that. Um, I'll get that soon. It's at my cousin's house where I used to live. Yeah, no worries Elegant. Um, this video is going to be an edited video. So an edible video. Not eatable, but an e we're going to edit it. We're going to be able to edit the video and add those new pictures in at all times. Um, it's not going to be a done uh, video, and you're intrigued, right? Yeah, we've 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 got some stuff for you coming up. You guys know about we've been talking about a podcast, we've been talking about all sorts of new updates and upgrades and stuff. Just be prepared, be prepared. Like I said, I was on set yesterday. Um, you'd eat it. <laughs> I'm also going to be trying to add some lighting in our background instead of just having a white light. Like the bright spotlight, I'm going to be working on like a four point, kind of give it more of an eerie look in the background, but without too dark because I want you guys to see the background. So I'm going to be working on that this afternoon as well. Hmm. Uh, were you in Lagby stream with my book launch? No, I was not Falcon. I was sick. Uh, so I didn't make it into Lagby stream all week. I did auto, he's on my auto host. So um, I was, I was ill, uh, for a day, but, um, I, no, I didn't. And congratulations, Falcon, on your book launch. That's amazing. Did you launch it on Amazon or is there another, uh, site? Sneaky Tiger, good morning. Wow, thank you for that host. How are you doing, Sneaky? Ah, uh, yeah, there are multiple locations. Very cool. Falcon, what is the name of your book? Good morning, Jester Lee. Mr. Q, thank you for that auto host. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. How are you, crazy? No, it's running, I swear. I don't know why. Probably because it's minus 11 Celsius right now. The friggin' weather sucks. You're tired? I'm feeling great. I'm 100%. I'm 100%. It's just that it's, uh, it's a little chilly out there today. So I'm hoping the cold weather isn't going to mess with us too much. It's cold. <laughs> Well, it, w it was, uh, what, zero? No, plus four yesterday. I had my windows open in my house. It was plus four, which I think is, what, thir 34, 40 degrees or something like that Fahrenheit? I had my windows open in my house. Um, I was doing some spring cleaning, so it was uh, four degrees Celsius, which is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and my windows were wide open. Yeah, I'm getting that fresh air, and it was crisp, it was cool, it was nice, it was warm. But better than our minus... 30. Hmm. Sneaky, did you send me your new thing? Uh, 40 Fahrenheit, you have the heat on? Oh, no, the heat went off and the windows went open, Metro. 
We miss you too, Elegant. I'm glad things are going well for you. I'm glad to see you here this weekend. Uh, gotta see a video of Rob behind the scenes in set. I swear I saw a penguin walk by in the parker. Yeah, a few people... I made a, a little quick video on set yesterday, and uh, we're not going to release that yet. Mischief Maker, thank you for that gifted sub to Falcon Gray. Brian's forever. You can get a physical, you can get it now at the publisher site, physical and ebook, which is on Amazon Kindle, Link, Apple Link, and Kobo. Or search it and pre order the physical copy on Amazon. Very cool. Get that sub hype. Transcendence. Hold on, I got to see that. Mischief Maker, thank you so very, uh, very much for sacrificing the soul of Falcon Grey to the Horde. Falcon Grey, refresh yourself, get the scariest demos on Mixer. And the cutest zombie kitty badge. Can I have your name of your book again, please, uh, Falcon? Thank you, Horde, for that sub hype. I do appreciate it. Guess who got a picture with Sneaky? This guy did. What? You, had, you got a picture with Sneaky Tiger? Sneaky was at PAX? What? Wait, what? Uh, Transcendence Radiant Awakening. Very cool. I will have to check that out. I will definitely like to see it. Thank you, guys. Secrets. Secret secrets. Uh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, I was going to say Deadly Mafia. Mwah, thank you for that host. Good morning, everybody. And if you are just joining us, this is Coffee Chat of Horrors. Uh, we are going to get into our web show, and we're going to talk about Tim Burton, uh, Sweeney Todd, and Batman. Uh, sorry, it's early. I haven't had my coffee yet. Yes, so you had Kay and Maddie. Still jealous. I'd be jealous if it was Sneaky Tiger as well. Tiberian, good morning. Don't forget your coffee, guys. Get that coffee or that tea. I drink and I forget things, Dillinger. I, shit, I don't drink and I forget things. Uh, we are going to get started. Uh, I'm jealous, right, Regal? I know. Tardy, how are you? Um, we have seven questions for today's trivia as well. At the end of every horror uh, coffee chat of horrors, we have our trivia, so stay tuned. We also have announcements to make as well. Orchid, good morning. Dylan, did, uh, good morning. Dahi, thank you for those sparks. And, um, yeah, Dillinger, I need, um, I have to hit you up in Discord under the podcast. I had some ideas. Serial killer and regal. Uh, get that heist on. Uh, hopefully the heist is working. I thought I had some weird stuff going on with the bot, but hopefully the heist is working. Uh, we are going to get into the coffee chat of horrors. Right. Meow. You're sore. Yeah, you would be Batman. Hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we just had a baby. I uh, can't time out bats. No, bats needs to sit back and she just needs to be chilling. That's what bats is doing today. Right? All right. So this is, uh, as you can tell, this picture here is Sweeney Todd. But we're going to talk about, quickly talk about some Tim Burton. Tim Burton was born on August 25th, 1958 in California. 1958, that's a couple of years younger than my mother. Whew, he's getting up there on age. Yes, the demon Barbara of Fleet Street. Mm-hmm. If you guys haven't seen Tween... Sweeney Todd, you should. We will watch a trailer to Sweeney Todd. Uh, I love that movie, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Dude, it's my, one of my favorites. If, have you watched it that much where you can actually see the zipper of the monster? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to side with Rani. Take some time. Yeah, she's going to. Uh, Sparkier Abyss, welcome to the Horde. Thank you for the follow. She can sit back and watch. She can definitely, I don't mind Batman being here. She can sit back and watch. She's now just a hangout. Um, but yes, Tim Burton was born August 25th, 1958. He was born in California. Uh, Tim Burton was inspired um, by his childhood artwork. A lot of the stuff that you see in his uh, movies have come from his artwork as a child. Uh, Burton is a compulsive drawer and has been since an early age. His unique style was developed as a kid, and some of Burton's movies were based on his drawings that he did when he was young. Uh, the character of Edward Scissorhands and Jack Skeleton both came from his childhood illustrations before he was a teenager. So it kind of gives you an idea of how talented this man was at such a young age. Uh, yeah, of course. Is is um is Leon sleeping? Uh, speaking of sitting back, I'm resuming my striking off the Microsoft rewards thing. I'll be lurking. All right, no worries. Get those rewards. 
you know, Microsoft Rewards, get, you know, you get those things. You can get free gift cards for Xbox. And you can subscribe, Mixer Pro, and do Embers right off of those uh, gift cards from Microsoft that you get with your rewards. I subscribe to a lot of people with my Microsoft Rewards. Um, soothed by Ra's voice, right? Until I scream. Um, out of Frost. Mwah. Thank you for that host. I hope you are well. I... Believe it or not, Tim Burton was a jock in school. He played a lot of sports. In high school, his favorite sports was swimming and uh, water polo while attending Burbank High School in California. I am doing great, Outer Frost. Thank you for asking. Tiberian, Mwah. thank you for that host. Um, do you know that he worked on worked at Disney and that he worked on some of our animated classics as a child? Uh, he didn't work for Disney too long. Uh, he was also too scary for kids, so a lot of the things that he wanted to do, Disney was not acceptable of. Uh, nice. Good morning, Kay. How are you, darling? Make sure Morg is mer working. Oh, my God, I can't talk. Good morning, Tenaciously. How are you? Good afternoon. He was a jock goth combo, right? But Mini Cheddars, he was, he was an avid sports player. He was into sports. Uh, his favorite was swimming and water polo. Kay, mwah, thank you for that host. I hope you're doing well. Congratulations. Kay is a new auntie, by the way, as well. Over, I guess, was it Friday, Thursday or Friday, Kay? Did your did your new little bundle of joy pop out? Uh, Johnny Depp is my hubby. If Book were here, yeah, if Book were here, she'd be fighting. You guys would be fighting. Uh, Burton is so goth, I can't imagine him as a jock. His favorite sport was crying, feeling sad, and listening to The Cure. And you know what? He says that in a in a in an interview, but he's really a happy-go-lucky type of guy. Uh, and I was reading uh, one of his interviews, and he is like, people seem to think that I am, you know, mopey, goth, and and sad. But he's like, I'm happy-go-lucky. I'm whistling. I'm smiling. Uh, it's kind of funny to see somebody outside of their element and what they really like behind the scenes. Hi, Lucifer Wolf. Good morning, Scroto Baggins. Mwah. Thank you for that host. Ah, yes, we're having fun this morning. If you are just joining us, this is Coffee Chat of Horrors, Tim Burton edition. Uh, we are just talking about a little background on Tim Burton, so uh, bear, bear with us. Uh, no worries, Little Antique Doll. I hope you feel better, hon. Can we please send Little Antique Doll some good juju? She is not feeling well. Uh, oh, my goodness. Tenaciously, thank you so very much for those three amazing months. Thank you, Ford. Can we please get that sub hype? Uh, get that sub hype uh, tenaciously just resub. So thank you so much tenacious. Mwah, thank you for that resub. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Sorry for the spam guys, but a resub, a sub, a birthday, a baby being born. We got a spam. We've got the spam. Thank you Horde for that uh, sub hype. Uh, we don't have resub, so we just do the sub hype. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Let's see if Regal breaks it. Regal's usually the one breaking shit. Oh, not today. Not today. Regal is like, not today, bitch. I'm not breaking things. General issues. Mwah. Thank you for that host. I don't think anyone has a resub. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Wreck it, Regal. Exactly. Good morning, Lacey. How are you? Rise. Mwah. Thank you for that host. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. Ache. Ah, thank you for that host day. Good morning. Um, so yes, Tim Burton worked on some of our favorite animated stuff. Uh, Psycho, oh, he does? Nice. Um, animated favorites from Disney. He worked on two uh, major ones, which was The Black Cauldron and The Fox and the Hound. Tim Burton was behind both of those um, animated movies for Disney. But the reason why he didn't stay on with Disney is because his stuff... Disney thought his stuff was too scary for kids. Hey, baby, you're awake. Mwah. Thank you for that host, hon. I hope I didn't wake you. Um, good morning, Metalhead. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I was trying to keep a little quiet, make sure I didn't wake up the heavy. Um, <laughs> you're great. Awesome. Awesome. Tim Burton is your favorite. He's amazing. Tim Burton's amazing. Um, his favorite, do you guys know who his favorite character is of all time? His favorite character is Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skeleton was created before Tim Burton was even a teenager. Yep. 
Harvest went well. It went well. It was sticky as fuck, man. Oh my god, we didn't have gloves. It's like crazy glue. Nature's crazy glue. A mystic Mike. Thank you for that auto host, my friend. I do appreciate it. That's one thing you knew about him, eh? Jack Skeleton was his is his favorite character of all time. He also drew Jack Skeleton before he was a teenager. Uh, you can also see Jack Skeleton in several other animated movies of Tim Burton. Um, for instance, if you look closely, you can spot Jack Skeleton as a pirate in James and the Giant Peach. Uh, yeah, we only did a couple of sims. Uh, to going to stop turning my spark button off for coffee chat. Which one? All the spark, but the spark button, you can go to the horde board. You should be able to go and dump sparks. Hold on, hold on there. I will make that happen on the default board. Let's see. I will make it happen. Boom. Magic is there. Uh, dump button. No bueno. Okay. Check it now. A refresh. I just opened it up for you. Good morning, Spaz. How are you? Look, Macho. It's our son, Spaz. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, Metro is in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was making it easy with Sam because when <laughs> Regal breaks it, Maltov's everywhere. Maltov's everywhere. You're good. You just had to shout it out that you're good. Thank you for those sparks. You know who you are doing that spark down. Thank you very much for those. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you are just joining us, this is Coffee Chat of Horrors. We are discussing uh, Tim Burton, Sweeney Todd, and Batman Dylan. Mwah, thank you for that host. I am looking at my blue light. I'm looking at my 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 uh, blue light monitor, but I could wear them. You got fifty new and fifty new colors. Wow, wow. Hi, Brayden. How are you? Um, did you guys know that Tim Burton hates apes? Even though, even though he worked on a few movies with apes. He does not like them. He was quoted saying, you don't know whether chimps are going to kill you or kiss you. They're very open on some levels and much more evil in a certain way. Uh, he does not like uh, apes. Thank you, Lucifer. You should see it in color. It's nice and colorful when I have when I go to my other scene. Um, yell at me for my glasses. They're on. They're on. Sweeney Todd is a great movie. Have you seen the actual musical? Mama Ducky, Mwah. thank you for that host. He doesn't like apes, and his thing is, like I said, he goes, you don't know whether chimps are going to kill you or kiss you. They are very open on some levels and much more evil in a certain way. So anything can happen. The Joe Show, good morning, sir. How are you? How are you doing today? I hope your week went well. And thank you so much for all those auto hosts that you do during the week of that support. Thank you very much for that. I, I haven't really had a chance to say thank you. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, you're just waking up. Nice. Uh, I thought you said he doesn't, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't like aches. He doesn't like ache. Who doesn't like ache? Oh, gee. Uh, Reeves, Ross, Serial, and I have put you through movie boot camp. Yeah, I will tell you that. Be, I, I, I'm, I'm having to play a role. I am not an actress. <laughs> Get your coffee, Regal. What are you waiting for? Hmm. Now, um, Tim Burton met his wife on set. Well, his former wife, because he's no longer married to her. But he met his former wife, Helena Boham Carter, on the set of Planet of the Apes in 2001. Um, this is the part where he doesn't like apes. Even though he worked on the film and had a hand in it, he just doesn't like them. But that is also where he met his wife, Helena. And um, did you know that him and Helena have lived far apart? Like, they lived apart Channel One, welcome to the Horde Channel One. Thank you so much for the host. For those of you that are just joining us, I am Reanimate Her. I am a horror content creator here on Channel um, here on Mixer. Thank you for that host, Fate Official. Welcome to the Horde. Thank you for the follow. Uh, you have stumbled upon us, and we are doing Coffee Chat of Horrors, Tim Burton, Sweeney Todd, and Batman Edition. So sit back and relax, and if you enjoy horror, you're going to enjoy this web show. Uh, erratic. Good morning. Uh, look at that ache. Oh my god, ache. Look at you. And you ha have you been doing morgue? Reaching for a hammer just in case. Get those get those hammers shiny. Good morning, Erratic. How are you doing today? Um, so, okay, like I was saying, uh, Tim Burton met his wife Helena on set in 2001. Him and his wife actually lived in separate homes 
um, with an attached hallway. So he lived away from his wife. Direct, the director snored so badly it bothered his wife, Helena. In order to escape his snoring, I guarantee you he has sleep apnea, the two lived in separate adjacent houses connected by a long-ass hallway. <laughs> Can you believe that? They lived in two separate houses, but the houses were connected with a hallway because she couldn't sleep in the same house, in the same motherfucking house. Like, holy, right? Uh... Christos, Christosity, Christosity, welcome to the horde. Thank you for the follow. I hope I said your name correctly. I'm a butcher of names, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I said it right. Life is great. Mwah. Thank you for that host. Oh, she was so mad, and I guarantee you, he has sleep apnea. That's why he snores so loud. So our last bit of information about Tim Burton before we get into Sweeney Todd himself. Uh, he wears pinstripe socks for good luck. He is always wore pinstripe socks as a kid and into his adult life he considers them his lucky socks he considers pinstripe a lucky thing black and white pinstripe you and you notice his characters in many of his animated series there's some sort of Sick black and white jumps, pinstriping um, in his movies uh batty yeah. insisted on two houses as well but it's okay her boyfriend is a cool dude <laughs> as long as you can get along right Janosaurus Rex, thank you mwah, for that host. Thank you for that host. We are going to get on to our Sweeney Todd portion of the show. Tweet Sweeney Todd was uh, released in 2007. Uh, didn't Jack Skeleton have pinstripe? Most of uh, Falcon Gray, most of Tim Burton's characters, or one at least in every movie of his, animated or not, has black and white stripes on them. Uh, I cannot pronounce your name there. Jo Zinho Catrino. I hope I said that right. If I did not, please put the pronunciation of your name in my chat because wowzers. That was hard for me to say and I don't want to butcher it too bad. Beetlejuice? Yep. I get along with all of Ra's other men. <laughs> hey, babe. There are no other men. Uh, my cat threw a fucking party last night. Just got up to my laptop unplugged. Dining room chair knocked over and their newest toy broken. Damn, your beasts are wild. They threw a one hell of a party. Nilsen BM, welcome to the horde. Thank you for the follow. Um, uh, the coffee is cold. My coffee isn't cold. But this is some beautiful artwork that Reaper 1923 was able to put together for us for this show. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Reaper 1923 is my partner in crime when it comes to coffee chat of horrors. Uh, he does all of the artwork, cosplay, tattoos. He grabs all of that from around the internet. And I do all of the research. And we combined it, we get coffee chat of horrors. Um, you mean that man filter she has? Heavy hates that man filter. Like, he hates that man filter. Uh, empty cans of catnip. My cats would have ate through the plastic bags. Uh, little red canine, welcome to the horde. Thank you for that follow. Oh, he hates that filter. <laughs> Um, it, welcome, welcome, guys. If you are just joining us, I am Reanimate Her, and this is Coffee Chat of Horrors. I am a horror content creator here on Mixer, and we are discussing T Sweeney Todd and then Batman. Hi, Hud Dope. How are you? Um, Sweeney Todd was released in 2007. Uh, the budget for Sweeney Todd was over $50 million. Uh, worldwide was over $152 million worldwide so 50 million budget made worldwide 152 mil that's insane uh no spooning tonight <laughs> yeah your mine will eat through bags they will climb the counters to get it i have to lock it away in the pantry mm. thank you guys for all of those sparks i do appreciate them mika thank you for that auto host um the character of sweeney todd first appears in the story 1846 the string of pearls that is where Sweeney Todd makes his first appearance uh, Paul will not be denied his treats and catnip they get locked up no the catnip gets locked up they got to get locked up because my cats will scale the walls to get it scale the walls there's they're ninja assholes man mm -mm. believe it or not Paul doesn't get any treats either <laughs> Helena Bon Bonham Carter was pregnant throughout the filming with her and Tim Burton's second child, 
Good morning, Miss Blue Suede Hayes. How are you, sweetness? How are you? No, that cat can't jump too far. He is so chubby. He can't. He can't jump. He he can jump certain heights, but he ain't scaling shit for nothing. Uh uh. He will have the other cats go get it for him. They'll bring it down to him, and he will eat. There is no way he's jumping up on anything. Ah, uh, you have to keep yours locked up too, even though it's not. They'll eat through that. They will literally eat through that stuff. Um. So Helena, who played Miss Lovett. Uh, was pregnant with Tim Burton's second child and she insisted accurately that throughout the film her bust size say, size noticeably changes from breast growth which most likely takes six to eight weeks to develop while filming was done out of scene. So that had to be hard to do as well. Vivid, good morning, sir. How are you? You need to check Discord, Vivid. I want to make sure I can use your picture in a merch video. Um, mwah, thank you, Vivid, for that host. You're doing all right. I'm doing amazing, Blue. I'm doing amazing. My weekend is great. Silver Noit. Mwah, thank you for that host. We are discussing Sweeney Todd right now. And Helena was pregnant with Tim Burton's second child during the filming of this show. Um, in some of the scenes where Sweeney opens his razor very quickly, it is a mechanical razor. Okay, elegant. I will sash you later, hon. Thank you for stopping by. Um, any... I'm interested in seeing it, Rock. I'm interested in seeing it. Um, we can talk more about that towards the end, but I am definitely interested in seeing The Invisible Man. I've seen the original... Uh, there is a button Johnny Depp would press to have the razor open, uh, which hides his finger. Depp personally requested the prop department to design this razor for him as he had a difficulty handling real razors. So he had a difficulty handling those sharp razor blades. And so he had the prop make, uh, prop design make a special machine that does this for him, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, for those, I, I think maybe we'll, after this, we'll go through a few of these and then I think we'll hit the, um, trailer. Or do you guys want to watch a trailer now? I think I might give you guys a trailer. All right. Let's see. Let's watch the trailer. Uh, let me know if it needs to be louder for you guys. This is the tale of an ordinary man who had everything. Our guy's name was Benjamin Barker. Until a man of power stole his freedom, destroyed his family, and banished him. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. For life. And in his yeah, sorrow, Edward a new man was born. They've seen his dreaming. I might come home to a wife and child. Benjamin Barker. No Barker. Sweeney Todd now. And he will have his revenge. Who's my wife? She's gone. And he's got your daughter. Judge Tobin. You gotta leave this all behind you now. No. These are desperate times. And desperate measures are called for. All right! Master. I mean, great scenes. It, you've never Maybe seen this, Regal? You're fucking mad. The years, no doubt, have changed me. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's such a great movie. I can't believe he's never seen it.
Welcome, Order Needs Chaos. Welcome to the Horde. Thank you for that follow. Um, and yeah, that uh, was uh, Sweeney Todd. That is the trailer to Sweeney Todd. I cannot believe that some of you have not seen it. Holy shit balls! because wow, it's a great movie. Uh, Helena and Johnny Depp, they played in a lot of, yes, they have. Uh, and Helena was married to uh, Tim Burton as well. Uh, they're no longer together. Uh, Meseda, how are you? Good morning. Um, but yes, that is Sweeney Todd. It is a movie musical. It is great. You definitely need to see it. Damn it, Riggs, we're going to add you. Oh, I know. I got her, Dillinger. I got her. It's all good. It's all good. I got her. Um, I'm, I, I need to go and watch this movie again because it's so good. And yes, Johnny Depp had used uh, razors on his hands before, but they weren't actually real scissors on his hands. But with this one, he wasn't good with razors. And uh, so he did have prop department make him a machine that did it for him. Bumpius, mwah, thank you for that host. Yeah, they just don't have Netflix. Uh, as of March 2010, Helena Boham Carter still had not seen this film uh, because she does not like watching her own performances. Although she said she will get around to watching it. Um, when this was said, uh, this was only a couple of years back. Uh, but as of 2010, she still hasn't seen the movie. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting as someone who she is a very well made actress. Like she's amazing. I love her in everything that she does. Um, and it's just surprising to hear that she didn't see her own performance in this movie because she doesn't like watching herself. How many of us don't like watching ourselves in our VODs as content creators? I don't. I don't like hearing myself either. Uh, straight edge razors can be difficult to handle. I have one for shaving and had some close calls. Yeah, you need to be careful with those straight razors. Definitely. I am feeling 100% better, Bumpius. Thank you for asking. How are you feeling? It's March to watch on Netflix. Definitely watch this. It's a great movie. Yes, it is a musical. There is musicals inside this movie, but it's definitely worth the watch. Uh, they are friends in real life. Yeah, they are. That they are. Hello, Skin Horse. How are you? And no worries. No worries, Skin Horse. Uh, that was a gifted sub to you, so no worries. Uh, you like watching yourself on movies? Really, ache. Really. Uh, she was good in Terminator. She's just a great actress altogether. I don't know why my bot's not deleting anything, but I've noticed the bot's not deleting all stuff. I would never go to Barber's after this film and get cutthroat shave. <laughs> but Barber's are nice. They're nice, but Sweeney Todd was turned into a monster, right? I mean, I think we all have that monster living inside of us. And when something tragic as his story that happened, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys that haven't seen it, but that that let his inner monster out. Uh, I'm going to watch this movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. You've never seen it. Oh, my God. You guys are missing out on an amazing movie. The bot has been restarted twice uh, this morning when I before I started. Uh, you're good and you had a good weekend. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, they are always fun. They are. They work so well together. Okay, so Tenacious, you've been having an issue with it as well. Are you hearing something in the background? There's nothing playing in the background. Nothing that I know of in the background. Anybody else hear anything? Uh, Dark Psycho 187 welcome to the horde. Thank you for the follow. I don't hear anything. Usually if you restart it, it will fix it. Otherwise, hit up MIU and Discord. I can restart the bot, but I, d I doubt it's going to fix it because I restarted it this morning. But it is what it is. If it doesn't delete the commands, it's not, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, I had my first. It, oh, did you ask me to show my boobs and other things last night? I was so offended that I sent him my number right away. That is hilarious. Serial killer. Channel one. Thank you for stopping by. You guys have a great day. Have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, weird. It was like whisper level. Maybe I need more coffee. Hmm. There was a follow that says, I see you, but uh, what I loved about this film was a theatrical kind of horror. Yeah, exactly. It was great. It's a great story. Definitely a great story, guys. Um, Helena Bonham Carter rehearsed her song while practicing baking techniques in order to perfect the quick, syncopated rhythm of the music. So she actually took uh, extensive uh, vocal lessons for this movie as well. Uh, Handy dot, how are you, Handy? Welcome to the horde. Thank you for the follow. 
Uh, Shadow by Carl Jung is something like you are describing. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, Explanation Point Morgue, you guys. Explanation Point Morgue gives you 10,000 limbs every hour on your hour. Uh, so she had to go uh, under extensive vocal lessons. And in order to get her timing and the syn synchronize everything together, she would bake and sing the parts that she had to in order to get it perfect for the actual shoot. Um, now, to prepare for the role of Adolfo Pirelli, Sasha Baron Cohen hired his personal barber as a consultant on shaving techniques and took up to 16 hours to learn how to handle a razor, um, a straight razor. You would have to learn how to use that type of razor. It wouldn't be something that you would just pick up and start doing. So um, in order to prepare for his role of Adolfo Pirelli, um, he did hire his own personal uh, Barbara to show him in 16 hours of practicing on how to learn how to use a straight razor um, It is a great scene big show Mwah, Darling, thank you for that host. I hope you're well, and I hope you're having a great morning um, But yeah, it's not deleting. I don't know if I should restart the bot or not if it's worth it But um, I don't mind if it doesn't delete I really like some of this artwork here I think some of it's really nice on how they draw. A lot of this is drawing, and we do have some of the artist names inside this artwork. If you were not here, this artwork is also gathered and collected by Reaper1923. He is my partner in crime when it comes to Coffee Chat of Horrors. You've got Sweeney Todd when it first released on DVD. Nice, Dark. That's awesome. It's a great movie. Uh, you're doing good. Thanks for... Uh, I'm glad you're doing well, Big Show. Uh, Batman and 26 Ninjas had their son, Leon, yesterday. So if you've missed that, Fire, thank you so much for that auto host. I do appreciate it. This artwork is amazing. Some of this is from my own personal collection as well on my computer. Angel, thank you for that auto host, Han. I appreciate it. You've never heard of Sweeney Todd, and it's British. You've never heard of it, Spore. Sweeney Todd, the, you've never... Oh, my God goodness insane um that's crazy and you're in the uk i can't believe that uh dark psycho Mwah, thank you for that host but yeah this is just some of um i really like this picture it's cute it's cute um all of this information all of the information and research vod and artwork that you see in today's stream will be in my discord by the end of the day today um, if you are not in my discord there um, good spelling I know I'm in I typos all the time um, oh really Regal <laughs> you go to it <laughs> Charlie's farm is a great movie it's a great movie but if you're not in my discord guys you may want to jump into that discord Everything from today's show, the research, the artwork, and VOD will be in there by the end of day today. We also have a horror channel, a food porn channel, all pics, and Discord pets if you guys want to check it out. And if you are new to Discord, let us know. We will teach you how to turn off all notifications so you don't get a million, a million notifs. It makes you want to watch it again, right? It's such a great, it is a great movie. It's definitely worth another watch. Um... The address on Miss Lovett's shop, which is number 186, is a reference to the London legend of Sweeney Todd, which placed his barbershop at this very address. Uh, so that is really cool. You can actually go and check this place out, number 186, to the address of Miss Lovett's shop. Miss Lovett, she is the baker, right? So if we remember, she is the baker. I don't really want to give it much away. Ball cleavage is always welcomed. You know, highlight, contour, highlights and contours, guys. It makes it look great. Perfect lighting as well. You got you to gotta have that lighting. You can't be just shadow boxing over there. Um, I am a Bob fan more than a handful is a waste. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you know Anne Hathaway was almost cast as Johanna? Uh, but Tim Burton wanted a completely unknown actress for the role and set it, settled on Jane Wisner. Yeah. J um, Anne Hathaway was casted for Johanna. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know about a new Batman game. I don't play 
any Batman games. Uh, but yeah, she would have been, uh, which I can see why he wanted a no name for it. I definitely see why he wanted a no name for it though. Uh, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen your lady hands Metro. <laughs> Well, yeah, Hollywood's known for their KY jelly and uh, shredded condoms. They really are. They're known for that. Uh, we know that the xenomorph in Alien was created with KY jelly and shredded condoms. The Predator had a lot of KY jelly and glow sticks with condoms. So we do know Hollywood has the, the, the market on lube and shredded condoms. Seriously, it's not a joke. We have learned in a lot of the horror movies and sci-fi movies that they, that's exactly what they use. KY Jelly gives them that look that they're looking for and then they throw in a splash of like, you know, some condoms and some glow sticks. It's like a rave. It's like a rave. Ah, uh, here we go with the jelly and knit. Yep, right? Uh, men with rough hands to... <laughs> Hmm, definitely. Please, they are huge. They keep them soft because who wants rough hands? Exactly, who wants rough hands? Um, this is Johnny Depp's second musical he started, that he's ever done. His very first, does anybody know his very first musical? Does anybody know who Johnny Depp, what Johnny Depp's first musical was? Yep, Cry Baby. And uh, Johnny Depp did not sing in Cry Baby. He lip synced the entire thing. He lip synced the entire thing. And Cry Baby in 1990 was his very first musical. He's never done a musical before and he faked it. Yep, you couldn't tell. But he lip synced every single word in Cry Baby when he was singing. Mm -hmm. But again, he probably wasn't ready. He probably didn't have... You got to remember how far back Crybaby was. That was in 1990. So he was probably not even ready to do that. Um, Johnny Depp wasn't a big name back then either. He wasn't that big as he was now. I know, Heavy hates musicals. He can't handle musicals. So he's never seen Sweeney Todd. Um, but uh, I enjoy Sweeney Todd. I will take the musical. I'm not a musical person myself. But I will watch that um, because it's a great movie. Um, but yeah, he, he, he didn't have any vo vocal uh, stuff besides talking in Cry Baby. So the parts that he is singing, he is actually singing and uh, he lip syncing in. Uh, it wasn't until 2007 was this released, right? So you got to think about it, 1990s. That was 21 Jump Street, Johnny Depp. He was still very young. He wasn't a big name in the industry as of yet, as of that time. And so, yes, he did. He lip synced that whole thing. The Pussycat Dolls. Uh, he's always had a band and started the Pussycat Dolls at his uh, club, The Viper Room. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Johnny Depp said in an interview that he considered his Sweeney Todd character to be like a long lost relative to Edward Scissorhands, who he also played the title character in Tim Burton's film, Edward Scissorhands. Um, so he did, he did feel that, um, Sweeney was a long lost relative of Edward Scissorhands and that's how he played it, how he did that role. And we do have another... There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, 91210 sucks. <laughs> Who was it? Johnny Depp was in 90210? I I don't know. I didn't really watch that show either. Um, Edward says, hands. Yeah, it was a great film. Hi, Varmland. How are you? Long time no see, bud. Long time no see. How are you doing? I'm your number one fan. Oh, Reaper1923, thank you so much for your resub. I so appreciate it. Horde, can we please get that sub hype? Ten friggin' months, Reaper. Ten months. Thank you, darling, so much for that. Mwah. Reaper, thank you for that. I really appreciate that resub. Thank you, Horde. Please get that hype. Please get that hype. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Reaper1923. Um, and again, Reaper1923 is my partner in crime when it comes to coffee chat of horrors. Reaper, mwah, thank you for that host horde. Thank you for that sub hype. I do appreciate it. <laughs> all, again, all of today's artwork and research and VOD will be in Discord by the end of day today. 
Thank you for that sub hype, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Arts by Galen. Oh my god, I love, oh, I love, 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 love the drawing that you did. Um, if you guys have not seen the finished piece of artwork, uh, it is in Discord. And um, I will be showing you at the end of the stream uh, imagery of what Art by Galen did. Can I please get a shout out for Art by Galen, please? And thank you. Um, thank you, Metro. Uh, he is an amazing, talented, creative artist here on Mixer. If you guys have not checked out Art by Galen and you love creative, definitely check him out, please. He is amazing. Uh, if you have not seen the artwork that he did, he drew me in a comic book villain type of style with zombies and all. So you definitely have to check it out. It is in my Discord. Uh, it is also in his Discord. And I will be showing you an imagery of it if that's okay. Is it okay to show on stream art the imagery that you did? Uh, Crybaby is great. It's like a scary movie, how they make fun of horror movies except for Grease style, right? Um, oh, well, thank you, Varmland. I appreciate that. Uh, Ra, you use that art for whatever you want, ma'am. Thank you, Art. I appreciate that, Galen. Thank you very much. This is a nice piece of artwork as well. I would, yes, it would, and it would go up like right there. <laughs> um, you and Galen have been talking. Don't worry, I called him the wrong name the other day and I felt like crap. Uh, yeah, I definitely, Metro, I would, I would definitely have it printed out. How much for a topless coffee? <laughs> We don't need one of those, babes. We don't need one of those. No worries, Regal. I understand with mobile. It's never fun. Um, this is the second of three Tim Burton films to not be scored by Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman's usually Tim Burton's go-to man, but this is the third movie that Danny Elfman did not score. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, shipped to some theaters under the name Skunk, presumably owing to the deposition of Sweeney Todd with a white streak in black hair. Um, so this movie was moved around to some theaters as quoted skunk. Uh, that was the code name for this movie. And of course it was done because of his hair, basically similar to what I have, right? Heavy's going to draw boobs on it anyways. Heavy draws boobs and on, oh my God, on everything. Uh, <laughs> Heavy's a good artist as well. Don't let him fool you. He used to draw. He he was good. He used to draw. I wish he would continue his drawing techniques. Um, but uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, during his first month of production in London, Johnny Depp had to take a ten-day leave of absence because his daughter Lily Rose was rushed to the hospital due to a severe illness. This was not in the media coverage. Uh, the media was not aware of uh, Johnny Depp's daughter being rushed to the hospital. Lily, of course, is was okay, uh, but she was rushed to the hospital due to severe illness and there was a 10-day delay in filming this movie as well as it was also shot out of sequence because of his wife Hel Helena was pregnant at that time and she wanted her bus to go with the time of the movie well, welcome back Regal welcome back I can't say unfortunately I have health issues I have to care about no worries Lucifer do what you have to do darling there will be a VOD up on my YouTube channel for you to view afterwards again all of this information will be on my discord as well as on my YouTube channel so if you're not there there is my Discord, and there is uh, my YouTube channel if you need to go and check it out. Uh, the extra-large jacket worn by Johnny Depp is a Bell Staff dark leather trench designed exclusively for the movie. Um, so getting a replica for it would be hard and very expensive. The uh, jacket that he wore was made exclusively for the film. How are you doing, Sailor? Good morning or good afternoon. Among those who influenced Johnny Depp's performance as Sweeney Todd was Peter Lore, uh, especially in Man, it, Mad Love in 1935, Boris Karloff, Anthony Newley, and Iggy Pop. 
that is what helped him influence his performance as Sweeney Todd. I thought that was a, a weird mixture. When you put it all together, yeah, Iggy Pop. Uh-huh. Uh, no worries, Lucifer. I hope you feel better. You have yourself a great day, and I will slash you later. But yeah, Boris Boris uh, Karloff, Peter Lohr, Anthony Newley, and Iggy Pop. Uh, yeah, you are more than welcome to spin that wheel, Ake. You are. We do have a section for the wheel on the board here, so you guys can spin it. Yeah, you are more than welcome to. And did you guys know that uh, Johnny Depp is the only American in the cast of Sweeney Todd? He is the only American. Yep, I mean, Tim Burton did not act in his show. He was the director. He was born in California, but Johnny Depp was the only American in the film. Yep, everybody else was non-American. Um, and as you notice, the black and white touch throughout the movie, the black and white stripes, again, Tim Burton's favorite lucky socks were pinstriped. And you see that in Sweeney Todd's bathing suit and Miss Lovett as well. Uh, Zombie Jack, mwah, thank you for that host. I do appreciate it. Ake, thank you for those embers. You just got yourself 50,000 limbs. I am taking the girls to dance now. No worries, serial killer. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. I will slash you later. Art by Galen. Mwah, thank you very much for that host. Uh, you always forget. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe, maybe one day soon we'll have auto host directly into Mixer. One day soon. Uh, Currently, we do have our bots that allow it. Oh, and I'm seeing a, I am seeing leaderboards are offline due to spike spikes in latency. There is a mixer status alert, guys. So I'm just going to pop this open real quick. And uh, we don't want to read it on there. Um, there is a leaderboard are offline due to spikes in latency. Uh, the engineering team has localized the issue and is currently working on a fix. Okay, so that is the status. No worries, Whispers. I love your face. Have an amazing time. Have an amazing time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Right? At least we get those alerts. Um, and uh, still not there? What's not there? Is my you know you know you know you know you know there we go. Let's get this. Let's get that out of the way. Shortcut. Mwah. Thank you for that host, and I appreciate it. Oh, the Lucille command. We could put that in Discord channel update. Uh, I finally know what F in chat means. Uh, pay respects, good old card. Yep, the book chronicles. Good morning. Mwah. Thank you for that host. I do appreciate it. How are you feeling today, book? I did say hello to everyone in Discord yesterday. I said hello to you. Um, I, I seen it and I said hello back to you in Discord. Uh, yes, yeah, so all of today's show will be in the Discord for you guys to peruse. If you have to miss the rest of the show today, you'll be able to catch the VOD on my YouTube channel and in discord along with all of the artwork by the end of the day today should be in the discord channel hello shortcut how are you doing um 80 million i don't know the sparks it's crazy they uh, they did a regular thing now they're back to regular it used to be during the month of december was at a 35 mil cap but now it's back to normal so our next milestone is 80 million and that's five days six hours and 32 minutes to get to um, yeah, 80 friggin' million. Again, there is the Discord and there is the YouTube link for if you guys miss it today. Ah, uh, yeah, that's BS. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with my 35 mil. I am. I'm happy with my 35 mil. Um, yeah, that, yeah, right, Blue. Um, pork roast is great. You're doing holy water. I am having Parmesan chicken tonight for dinner. Parmesan chicken, uh, garlic noodles, angel hair pasta. Uh, it's going to be delicious. Uh, it's also going to be some shrimp up in that bitch. 
Um, I'm so hungry. You are more than welcome to come, Batty. It's all homemade chicken parmesan with angel, uh, angel hair pasta, garlic sauce, and prawns. Yeah, don't forget to do explanation point more, guys. Explanation point more gives you 10,000 limbs every hour on your hour. It's going to be good. Future you, Bull Darling. Mwah, thank you for that host. You forgot to put the potatoes in. Oh, you definitely need to get the potatoes in there. You definitely have to get those potatoes in there. Um, but the leaderboard is a little messed up. Uh, Mixer is aware of it. Uh, stuffed peppers. Oh, that sounds delicious. I am going to show you guys the image um, that I was telling you about. Where the heck? Where's my Discord? There we go. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. I will send you that email address as well. I got to look at that video. There is my email. But I'm going to show you guys a full finished copy of what the artwork that uh, Art by Galen uh, created. Uh, I'm pretty friggin' stoked. She's beautiful. Wait till you see her. Twisted Bunny. Mwah, thank you for that host. Normally I just roll along. Uh, normally I just roll along with Channel One, but I saw Sweeney Todd and stayed because I love the film. Well, I'm glad you stayed, Dark Psycho. Every Sunday is Coffee Chat of Horrors here uh, in the crypt, and we discuss all things horror movie. Uh, even though Batman is not horror related, but it's Tim Burton related. It's one of Tim Burton's highest uh, grossing movies as well. Mmm, food party at Ross. Yeah, baby. Hello, Tangled. How are you? Thank you so much for doing that shout out. But look at that beautiful piece of artwork. Isn't she amazing? She's everything I want to be when I grow up. Yep. Food party, my house. Yummy, yummy. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Where's heavy? Wait, huh? Wait. No, now topless? No, we can't do it now topless. <sighs> Isn't that beautiful? Like, <sighs> she's gorgeous. She is. I love the zombies. I love how I'm controlling them too. Like the, the, the powers are coming out of my hands and I am controlling the zombie uprising. It's, she's amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm going to have this printed out in big poster like format and I'm gonna have it hung up here in my living room hmm this deserves to be out in the open not hidden in my game room so I am gonna go to Costco and have her printed out on actual and have her framed and put in my living room because this can't be hidden in my game room because I'm looking at it and I'm like nah I'm not gonna hide this in my game room because nobody sees my game room but there are people that come into my living room my game room is my sacred space so really nobody comes in here unless I invite them um maybe maybe uh, Echo Ann, mwah, thank you for that host. Uh, the chat moves very fast, Skin Horse. Yes, I need that on a hoodie, and I want it. I, I wanted a sign poster for the wall. <laughs> um, he did amazing work on this. Seriously, you all want a poster of it? <laughs> it's beautiful. He does a great job. You would definitely buy a copy. I even told. I even told Art by Galen. I will pay him. I will pay him. Um, but that is the beautiful artwork. If you guys want to see a better picture, you guys can go into Discord. It is in the Discord under Art of the Horde. Uh, I showed a little peek of the Monster Squad logo last night. I was drinking and excited. The Monster Squad is cool. You can definitely do that. But if you're talking about the other one, you're sending me a file pack with all the assets separated and stuff ready for print, as well as the animated thing I made. There is an animated thing. And we will show you guys that when it's fully completed. But yeah, Art by Galen has given me all rights to create um, and posters and everything with it. So I'm very grateful Art by Galen um, is allowing me to do that. Just because someone draws you something doesn't give you the right to create anything from it. So if an artist does create something for you, make sure you get their permission to do things with this artwork. 
Oh, Blue, it's amazing. It is amazing. It does, right? Right, Dillinger? Uh, not to get off the Tim Burton topic, but has this place seen the Morbius trailer? No, but I am going to be showing some trailers at the end of the stream today. Mert, thank you for that auto host, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, amazing job. Amazing job by Galen. Uh, he, like I said, he is allowing me to create a poster. There's also an animated version of this, and I will show you guys the animated version once that's all set up and done. Um, but yeah, definitely. And I might do some custom printed posters, sign them, and do them as giveaways. Uh, Ra, I'm an idiot. Ignore the first email. Forgot to attach files. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's, I blame the coffee. Our coffee hasn't kicked in yet, Galen. Our coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is actually go get a few of these printed in poster format at uh, Costco. I will sign as well. It's already signed by Galen, and we'll do them as giveaways. Hi, Lemon. How are you? So you would have some copies signed, right? Uh, and done as a giveaway. Coffee time is over. It's now bureau time. I No, not for me. He's very talented, very talented. It's a gorgeous piece of, gorgeous piece of artwork. Seriously. Uh, he is very talented. Uh, we are going to start now the trailer uh, for Batman. No Moss Coffee? Oh, coffee is good. I am doing great, Lemon. How are you? For those of us, for those of you that are just joining us, I am Reanimate Her. I am... <laughs> I am a horror content creator here on Mixer. So Heavy is asking, so seriously, how much for a topless version? Um, if <laughs> No, Heavy will pay for that. Uh, Heavy is a crazy son of a bitch this way. Heavy would pay for that. He seriously would. I am not kill ki kidding you. I tried to whisper you, but it didn't work. Uh, Toads followed you on Twitter. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Heavy would heavy would pay for a topless version of this character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's that's heavy. Heavy has to have boobs and everything. Um, we are gonna watch uh two trailers. We're gonna watch one right now, one in the middle. Heavy, please, uh out that shit on the side of a sweet seventies panel van with your bar barbarian behind her. <laughs> he has the real topless version already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The yeah, boobs for the win, man. Boobs for the win. You guys are crazy. Army of Darkness style. Hell yeah. Right? Hell yeah. Let me unmute this bitch here. I gotta skip this video. Oh, there we go. Let's skip and let's pause this. Let's make it big screen. All right, guys, we are going to get into the Batman portion of Coffee Chat of Horror. So if you are just joining us, I am Reanimate Her. I am a live horror content creator here on Mixer. Um, most of the content that I create is all horror based. And this is Coffee Chat of Horrors. We are talking about Tim Burton, Sweeney Todd and Batman. Uh, let me know if this has to go louder. I'm, I don't know who doesn't love boobs. Everybody loves boobs. Everybody loves boobs. And as Miss uh, Miss Chicken Arms would say, nipples of Massachusetts destruction. Uh, here we go, guys. If it needs to be louder, please let me know. Across this nation, the words Gotham City are synonymous with crime. Everybody loves boobs. Our streets boobs. are overrun. Our public officials are helpless. People of Gotham City, men of few words, but those words will count. By the way, Six my room smells deaths, amazing. With no clues as to the Joker's deadly weapon. The 200th anniversary birthday gala <laughs> has been indefinitely postponed. I need all the help I can get. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. Shoot to kill. Bruce Wayne. A lot of people think you're as dangerous as the Joker. Bat. <laughs> Friend? Okay, I thought we were How a team. Are you? Let me tell you about this guy I know, Jack. Mean kid, bad seed, hurt people. I liked him already. Assault with a deadly weapon age 15, results of psychological profile. I agree with Violent mood swings, highly intelligent, emotionally unstable. I am the world's first fully functioning homicide artist. He was an amazing joker. I have given a name to my pain. And it is back here and just... 
Have fun, Michael Craig. Love your face, time. Have an amazing day, and I will see you later. And now comes the part where I relieve you, the little people, of the burden of your failed and useless lives. But as my plastic surgeon always said, I love my fingers, Batman. I have no, no, no. interest in that. <laughs> Joker, I agree, hands down. Yes, I agree, Falcon. To me, was the best Batman. Diva, thank you for that whole time. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's what it is. And where is the Batman? Oh, yeah, I can watch this Batman over and over. This town needs an end. I love Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. Ever dance with the devil? Oh, my God. Meow. Yeah, hell yeah. She was still great in that movie. Do you know that Michael Keaton and... Uh, And that was uh, one of the trailers that we are watching. We're going to watch another trailer, but not right away. Uh, that is just one of the trailers for uh, Batman. My favorite Batman, hands down, and Joker. Let's take a look here. I did not even have that. Can I do that? Because I was too busy watching the friggin' trailer. Uh, the problem with all the new Batmans, they ain't got no nipples. Exactly. Nipples of Massachusetts destruction is basically what they are. Um, but yes, Batman was released in 1989. Uh, the budget was $35 million, and in box office, it made $411.5 million in the United States box office. That was not a worldwide figure. That was just the United States. Domestically, it was the highest grossing movie of 1989. Worldwide, it came second place to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade in 1989. Now, we all know Indiana Jones was friggin' kick-ass. Kick-ass. Um, back, sorry I had to take the garbage out. No worries, no worries. Welcome back, Sneaky Tiger. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is an amazing actress. You have to go do some fam stuff. Love your face, Art by Galen. Thank you so very much for that drawing. She's beautiful. Thank you for the support and stopping by. I will slash you later. Uh, personally, your favorite Batman and Joker are Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill. Really? Uh, I would like to see Keaton as an old man, Bruce Wayne. That would be interesting. Indiana Jones is what Han Solo dreams while frozen in carbonite. <laughs> right? That could. You could work that in there very easily. <laughs> Do you know that Robin Williams was offered the role of Joker when Jack Nicholson hesitated? So the role was offered to Jack Nicholson, and Jack Nicholson was like, mm, I don't really know if I want to be the Joker. So they offered it to Robin Williams, and uh, Robin Williams got really pissed off uh, with uh, Burton and Warner Brothers Studio because uh, he was used as a, as a decoy, basically. Um, he had even accepted the role when a producers approached Nicholson again. So uh, Robin Williams, this was actually his role because, you know, Jack Nicholson hesitated. He was like, you know, I'm not too sure if I want to go and do this. So Robin Williams was offered the role of Joker and he accepted it. Now, while he accepted it, the producer went to Jack Nicholson and was like, look, we've got uh, Robin Williams has taken the part, so uh, we will not need you as uh, the Joker. And uh, Jack was like, oh, fuck, now I am taking that role. So they gave the role 
to Jack Nicholson, Williams was so mad about the refusal, um, was so mad about being bait and being used that he refused to play the Riddler and refused to work with Warner Brothers until the studio apologized for the shenanigans that they pulled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Robin Williams had a rough time back then. But yeah, can you imagine Robin Williams as a Joker? Yeah, plot twist. Uh, Indiana, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, I don't know if he would have been a good Joker. It would have been a totally different Joker. Uh, Nicholson gave him a very dark side of what Joker would be. Uh, I think Robin Williams would be too light and fluffy for it. Uh, Kevin Conroy played Three Dark Knight, Return Bruce Wayne Crisis. I love Williams, but Nicholson is just, he is. Dillinger, I agree. Um, I don't think Williams would have been a, a good role for Joker. But again, and they used him and he felt, he felt pissed. He was mad. He was also, he was also, you know, came to for the role of Riddler as well. And he was, he refused. He refused to do Riddler and he refused to work with Warner Brothers until the studio apologized for their bullshit, their shenanigans of what they pulled. I think because how dark and twisted Williams can become, I think he would have been terrifying. Possibly, possibly. But I don't know. I, I don't know about the 80s style uh, Williams. Uh, how about that penguin, right? Oh, he played, yeah. DeVito played a great one. Uh, Jack Nicholson said of his role, uh, the thing that I like about the Joker is that his sense of humor is complete, completely tasteless. He later said the Joker was one of his favorite roles to play. DeVito did a, yeah, he was the perfect penguin. The perfect penguin. Yeah. He was perfect at it. Uh, the Joker is one of Jack Nicholson's favorite roles. Uh, he he loved it so much. He loved this movie so much and his role that he continuously played this movie throughout his home. Yeah. There, do you, I'm going to give you guys some information about Catwoman because Michelle Pfeiffer wasn't, uh, wasn't the first in place for Catwoman. Uh, that's when Robin said, screw you, I'm going to Peter Pan. Mm-hmm, basically. Basically, uh, Jack Nicholson received, a, listen to this, just listen to this. Jack Nicholson received a percentage of the gross on the film, and due to its massive box office take, he took home more than $60 million. More than $60 million. Jack Nicholson. As of 2003, it was still the single movie record for an actor's salary in 2003. That was a massive amount of money in 1989. $60 million he took home. Crazy amount of money. Yeah, crazy amount of money. Um, about six minutes in, Michael Keaton comes up with the famous line, I'm Batman. That line was not written for the movie. The actual part that was written for the movie that was in the script is, I am the knight. So technically, uh, Michael Keaton should have said, I am the knight, instead of, I'm Batman. Um, I'm Batman was improv. It was something that came to Keaton during that part of the film. And uh, could you imagine it being different? I am the knight instead of, I'm Batman. Uh, the girl that plays Selena in the Fox series Gotham looks very much like a young Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, I agree, Jimmy. She does. She definitely does. Hey, you got to think of it this way. Everyone thought Heath Ledger wasn't a good choice for Joker, and look how that turned out. I thought he was decent. I wouldn't say he was the best Joker. Mm-hmm. Uh, not as good as RDJ. And I am Iron Man, just saying. Yep, that's a good tagline as well. Uh, before Batty and I started dating, I told her that her sister could pass for Danny DeVito as the penguin. Oh, <laughs> uh, so it would have made a huge compact. Yeah, impact if they didn't, right? I'm Batman was not uh, in the script. So Keaton just threw that on there. Mm -hmm. And she looks nothing like me, by the way. My sister doesn't look anything like me either, Batty. None of my sisters do. Uh, around a minute, an hour and 45 minutes in, before the Joker enters the Gotham City Cathedral with Vicky, 
He requests over the walkie-talkie for transportation for two to arrive in 10 minutes. You guys know that scene? Between entering the cathedral and the arrival of the Joker's helicopter, the action inside the cathedral unfolds in real time. So that I thought was pretty cool. That whole thing actually unfolds in real time. So in that uh, transportation for two to arrive in 10 minutes, and I thought that that's how it was really cool, how it all did that in real time. Notice how Batty isn't denying the observation, though. <laughs> uh, I had the pleasure of seeing what they both look like, what they both look like. So, he, 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 he. Um, <laughs> explanation point morgue, guys. If you've been here for more than an hour, explanation point morgue. Uh, Keaton decided to perform batman's voice at a lower register than when he was portraying bruce wayne have you noticed the different techniques that uh, keaton used as batman and as bruce wayne no no denial but i won't say anything i've seen them but i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> uh they look like darth Vader and the stormtrooper hands down it's exactly what they look like uh so this technique became a staple of future portrayals of Batman. Um, so Keaton wanted to show the differences between Batman and Bruce. Well, I had to give them something. Um, he wanted to show the differences between logically through Batman and Bruce, how they're supposed to be separate. So how do you separate those two? He created a deeper voice for when he plays Batman and that took a role in future films every batman to be released after that each of the actors have made their voice lower and lighter depending on what part of they are playing from the television to video games especially those of kevin conroy and christian bale uh so not only did Bru not only did keaton come up with i'm batman but he also came up with the way they portrayed his voice in future movies you just watched batman 89 the other night how are you doing bicycle How is your day today? How was your weekend? Um, let me just let me do one more. Uh, let's see if that works. That does work. There we go. There we go. Exclamation point B D. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Bicycle of Death, he is a great creative, oh, um, great entertainer, content creator over on Twitch. There's his link right there. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, Slaying Zombies, uh, glad to catch a stream. I'm glad you're catching the stream. Uh, we are talking about Sweeney Todd and Batman. We have discussed Tim Burton uh, and his history, and we just discussed Sweeney Todd. We are now on to Batman. Uh, Tim Burton is the best director by far. Danny Elfman is a musical genius. He is. And do you know, Diva, that uh, Danny Elfman did not do the score for Sweeney Todd? Actually, Sweeney Todd was the third movie that... Uh, um, Danny did not score for Tim Burton. Uh, Kevin Conroy finally got to portray his a uh, live action Batman for the moment in the CW DC crossover. Interesting. You watched the Joker last night. Imagine if they could have done a Batman vs Superman with Keaton and Reeves. Ooh, that would have been great. I think that would have been great. Uh, I remember watching you stream this the other day. Yeah, Pixel. How are you? I do coffee chat of horrors every Sunday. Um, and this, this weekend is, uh, Batman and Sweeney Todd. What happened to all the cool Alicia characters in the Batman movie? What do you mean? Hello, Mitzer. You go get that coffee, my friend. I am great. How are you? Thanks for the warm welcome. No worries, Pixel. I am doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Uh, if you are just joining us, we are uh, discussing Batman in Coffee Chat of Horrors. I understand it's not horror related, but this is one of Tim Burton's highest, gro one of his highest grossing movies. So this is why we're talking about Batman as well. Uh, we previously spoke about Sweeney Todd. Uh, hello, Diabolical. Happy born day. Is your birthday today? Uh, Tim Burton is bae. His movies are amazing. His movies are awesome. Uh, the, this also, Batman, this movie, uh, was released the year of the character's 50th anniversary. We all know Adam West was the original Batman. And this movie was released in the 50, 50th anniversary of Batman. 
Oh yeah, yeah, his girlfriend. That they, I don't know. I don't know. They don't. They don't actually. In any of the research that I brought up, Mama, any of the research that I that I did didn't even bring her up. Pixel Bunny Studio. Mwah, thank you for that host. Uh, yeah, it was weird. Uh, any of the research they never brought her up at all. In any of the research that I gathered and collected, if you have missed uh, the earlier portion of the show. There will be a VOD. All of today's research, uh, imagery, and VOD will be in my Discord by the end of day today. If you have not checked out my Discord, if you're not a part of it, why not? We have so much great things inside the Discord. Um, how are you feeling there, Batman? And there is my Discord. And for you to catch my VOD later on today, there is my YouTube channel. Uh, and you're not even that old. I know it was on the 23rd. Happy born day. Happy belated born day, Diabolical. Mm -hmm. uh, I am feeling all right just watching TV while Leon's sleeping. That's good. Fun. Thank you for that host. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. A scene was written but never filmed in which the Joker took over a public ceremony held by Mayor Borg hostage, causing Borg to experience a breakdown, unveil the statue of himself, and laced the Gotham City Police Department's coffee with non-lethal poison, which would have explained why there are no police in the parade scene. Did you guys know that? It was never filmed. That scene was written but never filmed. I just did a crash landing in Discord. Yeah, we can definitely give you a roll, Pixel Bunny. Could one of my mods, uh, Regal, or I'm not sure who's in here, uh, would you be able to give them a roll uh, in Discord, please? Thank you. Uh, make sure Leon can hear Coffee Chat of Horrors. He never misses an episode. No, little Leon has not missed an episode since. Like, he has been in his mama's belly. He has heard every single Coffee Chat of Horrors up to his birth. Mm, no worries, Pixel. No worries. Thank you for joining. Uh, uh, the Batmobile was built on the chassis of a Chevy Impala, incorporated the engine of an Impala, the taillights of a Ferrari, the fuel caps of a London bus, a jet engine parts from the Harrier jump jet. Uh, the sliding cockpit was also inspired by that of the Harrier uh, with the slim windows of a gun emplacement. Art director Terry Ackland Snow added the headlights of a Honda Civic, a Honda Civic, to the vehicle after noticing them on his wife's car. I thought that was an interesting makeup of the Batmobile. Diddles, mwah, thank you for that host, hon. Uh, Billy D. Williams was Harvey Dent. He would have made a fantastic Two-Face. Oh, I think that would have been interesting for sure. Interesting for sure. Um, the Batmobile was 26 feet so 26 feet long, that's 6 meters, uh, and had a 8 foot, which is 2.4 meter wheelbase and weighed 1 and a half tons. That is 1.36 metric tons. Um, two prototypes were built for filming. Uh, the flames that shoot from the rear were created by using a paraffin. And as a special promotion around the film's release, uh, MTV held a Steal the Batmobile contest where the winner would be awarded one of the prototypes that had the engine removed. So there was two prototypes created, one with an engine, one without an engine, one that had flames coming out of it. I thought that was really interesting and that they actually held a contest in, on MTV for, to win one of the prototypes. Could you imagine? Can you imagine? I wonder why they didn't have any Prince music. Do you want to know why they didn't have Prince music? Tim didn't like Prince's songs. <laughs> and that is why. <laughs> that is why. Yes, Leo, Leon was born at 1.13 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah. Um, but that was the little bit about the Batmobile. I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, the design of the Batmobile bears a very strong resemblance to the Thrust 2, which is a British jet-propelled car which held a world land speed record from 1983 to 1997. I thought that was interesting as well because uh, it strongly resembles the Thrust 2. 
I don't know if any of you guys know what the thrust thrust two looks like, but you could Google that. I miss these 80s movie posters, right? They don't make them like they used to. They definitely don't, Bicycle. They don't make the movie posters. Mm. Tim Burton doesn't like Prince's music. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, Leon was seven pound, seven point four pounds and nineteen inches long. Born on January twenty fifth at one thirteen p.m. Yes, there are pictures posted in the Discord. You may want to put the Discord link out so then you guys can check out how precious and beautiful Leon is. Uh, yeah, very similar, very similar spore, right? Mm hmm. Thank you guys for those sparks. I do appreciate it. I really like this drawing right here. Uh, of Batman, Joker, Catwoman, the Batmobile, and Penguin. They got the whole thing situated right there. Maddie, thank for you. Thank you for that auto host, hon. Um, listen to this. Michelle Pfeiffer, who was dating Michael Keaton at the time, was asked to audition for the role of Vicky Vale, but Keaton was against it and saying it would be awkward. So no, I don't want her to play. Vicky Vale. Uh, and I've got some more interesting facts on that as well later on. I'll be right back. You bro oh, no. Don't get cut on it, Regal. Don't get cut. Uh, the Batmobile looks like a gun. Mm -hmm. It is definitely beautifully done. The artist signature is there as well. Uh, if you guys have missed anything from today, the VOD will be in Discord along with all the artwork. Uh, again, Reaper1923 is my partner in crime when it comes to Coffee Chat of Horrors, and uh, he grabs all of the artwork, the cosplay, tattoos, and things like that that you see on this show will also be in my Discord by the end of day today, as well as a VOD of today's show. Yeah, Briggs, Regal is always breaking shit. She breaks chat, everything else. Uh, your favorite is the Batmobile, is the Tumblr, that thing was a monster. Mm -hmm. The first Batman adaptation to deficit the Joker's origin story. It remained the only film to do this until Batman, the killing Joker in 2016. So the original Batman in 1989 is the only one to actually show Joker's origin until Batman the Killing of Joker in 2016. And I thought that was interesting to find in those notes. Um, right? Oh no, that sucks, Regal. Uh, break the glass before you start washing up, not during the task, ouchie, right? Uh, Altered Comic, thank you so much for that auto host. Uh, armed with a videotape of rough cut and round the clock crews waiting to assist him, Prince locked himself in Paisley Park's recording studio for several days before emerging it with what would be the album's first single, Bat Dance. Yes, we have some information on Batman um, on that of, as well, where Burton just didn't like Prince's music. Uh, Jack Nicholson loved his performance so much as Joker that for an entire week at his house, he played the film over and over throughout his entire life home i found that kind of interesting too that he loved his role so much that he had the film playing constantly for an entire week throughout his entire home can you imagine the size of jack nicholson's home and everywhere you go seeing the movie batman thank you for those sparks i appreciate that right miss chicken arms right now we are going to go and watch the other trailer um, this is going to be a Batman return trailer. Um, and just because it's got the beautiful Catwoman. Uh, well, that's what I call showcase of prides of one, um, hubris. Where is my YouTube? Give me a second. There we go. We're going to watch this trailer before we go on any further. We're going to pause that, let that go. Skip this. Oh, I hear someone's dog like barking his little head off. Thank you for those sparks. I've read where Batman helped save Prince's career. Batman Returns is one of your all-time favorites. Nice. To ascend from the sewers of Gotham. 
Gotham, a new villain emerges. Oh, bicycle, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Nice bicycle of death. That's really cool. Oh, you're funny, Ink. Ow. Oh, hell yeah, Tenacious. He played a great penguin. Oh, hell yeah, Miss Chicken Arms. All round. There is no better Catwoman besides the original. a romance she can sink her claws into exactly batty right pixel right zach thank you for that host time no i'm happily married blank mountain but thank you Yeah, that is awesome. Tonight I'm going to play this city like a harp from hell. <laughs> <You missed. Anything on your oh, shut up, YouTube. We don't care about writing anything. All right, that. That there is Batman Returns. Um, I kind of figured it would go in nicely with Catwoman since we're showing Catwoman and uh, Reaper had a couple of beautiful trailers for us to watch. Oh, Ake will be your girlfriend. There you go. Didn't realize Danny DeVito was in that movie. Yes, Danny DeVito plays the penguin. He, he is the perfect penguin. That nobody can be penguin. But it was the right role. Hey, Raging, how are you? Yeah, you remember him eating the, the, the fish? Ugh. So gross. I love Danny DeVito. Oh my God, you guys remember Ruthless? Ruthless people? Hi, Agent, how are you doing? Right? You remember when this first came out? 1989 was when Batman came out mm-hmm there is a cosplay of the beautiful cat woman um the first batman movie to win an academy award for best art direction set decoration it was then followed by the dark knight in 2008 with two wins 227 of 237 um yeah let's see let's, what is that in there for never mind that but anyways uh, Dark Knight uh, followed it with taking two wins. Uh, and dude's nose to... Oh, yeah, where he bites the dude's nose off when in the, in the campaign section. I feel at home here with other folks that remember its release. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to listen to you while I clean the kitchen. No worries, Pixel. Enjoy. Enjoy that cleaning. I think Warwick Davis would have been good as Penguin. Colin Fowl? What? Colin Fowl? Really? Hmm. Oh, uh, for Joker, it took two hours for the makeup artist to change Jack Nicholson into the Joker. 355 silicone adhesives had to be used due to Nicholson's allergy to spirit gum. So he had an allergy to spirit gum. 355 silicone adhesive had to be added to his face to portray Joker. Uh, Max Shrek is the name is the name of the name of the original actor that played Nosferatu in the silent German film. Uh, not to go off subject, but another Home Alone movie with the guy grown up. Mm-hmm. 
outlandish Mwah. thank you for that host and wild moon flower the winner the winner of the baby pool of batman goddesses baby pool is wild moon flower they receive the limbs and brains so congratulations wild moon also mwah, thank you for the host i appreciate it um can one of the mods give a uh, wild moon their deserved brains and limbs please who do you think would have been the best Batman out of today's actors? I still think, hands down, Keaton was the best. Afternoon, Monty. How are you? I love Batman. I own all the Lego. Very cool. Mama, thank you so much for those embers. I wonder how long Danny DeVito had to practice the penguin walk. Yeah, that would have been an interesting note, right? Thank you. Uh, I heard something about Home Alone. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the Wheel of Horror brings. 100,000 brains for Mama Ducky. Thank you. I thought Danny DeVito walks like that usually. I don't think he walks like that usually. I think when he gets into Batman conversation, there is a better Batman and a better Bruce Wayne. I personally, I love Michael Keaton as Batman. I don't like any others. That's just my own personal opinion. Mind you, I am not a ginormous Batman fan. I enjoyed the original movie. Uh, I enjoyed the second one. And that's really what I've watched. I haven't really seen any of the new ones with the other Batmans in them. Because I don't really care. Uh, Ake, thank you for those embers, hon. I do appreciate it. Let's see what the Wheel of Horror brings you. 500,000 limbs. Thank you, Kay, for grabbing that. Um... Uh, could you imagine if Keaton agreed to Batman Forever? Oh my god, don't think it would have been the same move. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I haven't really seen all the other Batmans. I just I actually just didn't care for all the other actors. Um in creating the bat suit, uh Tim Burton opted not to use tights, spandex, or underpants as seen in the comic book. Feeling it was not intimidating enough. Could you imagine if Batman looked like the Batman from the comic book? Could could you have taken could you have taken Batman seriously? If he was in the tights and spandex and the underpants as seen in the comic book? <laughs> Thank you, Regal, for giving Wild Moonflower the brains and limbs. Um, congratulations again, Wild Moonflower, on having the only date picked for Leon's birth. Uh, Keaton gives beatings. Yep. I wonder if it was hard for her to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I'll do a little bit. Obviously, I'm busy. Um, but yeah, like, where are we? Uh, the costume designer Bob Ringwood found it difficult designing the bat suit because the image of Batman in the comics is this huge, big, six foot four hunk with a dimpled chin. Michael Keaton is a guy with an average build, who is an average guy. Uh, so he did find it quite difficult, but he did change the bat suit up because the original bat suit is tight spandex and underpants. Right? Had to look it up in Discord to give the correct amount. Thank you, Regal. I do appreciate it. I forgot as well. Um, yeah, she had to be lubed up in the cat suit. It was torture getting in and out of. The best thing to do in any type of latex or leather situation is put baby powder on your body first before putting any type of latex suit on. Baby powder does help it go on. It is a bitch getting off. Um, anything latex. And leather. Um, had the bat wing been built to size, it would have been 35 feet long wingspan, which is 10.7 meters. Uh, best thing to do it, to get something that tight is to spit first, <laughs> right? She had to be lubed up. This is why they have KY jelly on stock. Uh, that means non, yes, you will not be, you are not removing anything like that with teeth. You'd remove your own friggin' teeth, removing that off with teeth. Seriously. Um, yep, yep. Gotta powder up. Exactly. Any skin tight stuff, baby powder, talc powder works the best. Leatherface never had that issue. No. His stuff just smooth and just sewed all together, right? 
I thought they wanted Robin Robin Williams to play the Riddler. They did, but um, Mama Ducky, you were here. You will probably miss my saying about that. Robin Williams was duped and used as bait. Uh, Robin Williams was offered the role of Joker um, as bait for Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson took his time and was hesitant on playing the Joker. So they went back to Jack Nicholson after offering and Robin Williams taking and accepting the role of Joker. They went back to Nicholson and said, hey, Robin Williams is taking the role of Joker. Nicholson was like, oh, fuck, no, he isn't. And Jack Nicholson took the role of Joker. It pissed off Robin Williams so badly that Robin Williams refused to take the role of Riddler and refused to work with Warner Brothers Studio until the studio apologized. So that is why Robin Williams did not do the Riddler. He was that pissed that he was used as bait to obtain Jack Nicholson. Uh, really off topic, but I'm dying to know, as a fellow horror game fanatic, have you ever played Haunting Ground? No, that is something that I'm looking to play. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think he would have been a great Joker. Um, that was the Burton Riddler. Once Tim Burton was out of the franchise, things drastically changed. Yes, they did drastically change. Uh, the only live-action Batman film to feature only one supervillain from the comics as well. Hey, thank you for those embers, hon. I do appreciate it. You got it, book? Thank you. Uh, it's amazing. I remember when it came out and continue to play it to this day. I really want to see you play it. We'll see. I have so many games that I need to I need to play. I, there are so many. The Wheel of Horror has given you 50,000 limbs ache. Delicious hot limbs. Uh, the name of the Joker's alter ego is called Jack Napier. Was created by the filmmakers. In the comics, the Joker was never given a real name, and his anonymous status is often crucial to the plot. And whatever real name he, ha he has is yet to be definitively revealed. The name Jack Napier is intended to be played on words for Jack and Apes, a medieval English term for a foolish fellow who resembles an ape, as well as a reference to Alan Napier, who played Alfred in the television show Batman in 1966. I thought that was a great tidbit of information because the comic books does have Joker anonymous. Nobody knows Joker's real name. Um, but in the movie in 1989, they come up with this information. The Red Hood. Mm-hmm. Thank you for popping out the Discord link. And the YouTube. Uh, the only actors to appear in all four Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher films are Pat Hingle, who played Commissioner Gordon, and Michael Gow, who played Alfred. They're the only two actors to appear in all four of Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher's films. Uh, it's Arthur in The Killing Joke. Mm-hmm. And Killing Joker. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim Burton wanted to cast, listen to this, listen to this. Tim Burton wanted to cast Brad Dorif as the Joker, but he was overruled by Warner Brothers. Could you imagine Brad Dorif as the Joker? Yeah. Jack Hudson, mwah, thank you so much for that host. Yeah. Tim Burton wanted to, it never went to Dorif. Um, Tim Burton wanted to, Warner Brothers said, uh-uh, that ain't happening. So Warner Brothers did offer it to Jack Nicholson first. Jack Nicholson hesitated. They then offered it, and it was accepted by Robin Williams. Then they pulled the rug out from Robin Williams, gave it to Jack Nicholson, but Tim Burton wanted Brad Dorif. Yeah, Dorif would have been really good. If you guys don't know who Brad Dorif is, Chucky... He's also played in Graveyard Shift with, um, that's a Stephen King movie, The Graveyard Shift. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. It's a great movie. Brad Dorif has played numerous, numerous parts. He is a horror movie icon. Um, they must have pulled it from Robin Williams before any, well, no, book. Uh, you probably missed it as well. They used Robin Williams because Jack Nicholson hesitated. They gave it. Robin Williams accepted the role. Before, I don't know about anything was signed, but before 
They dangled Robin Williams in front of Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson then took the role. They decided to pull the rug out from under Robin Williams and said, tough shit, bud, we gave it to Jack Nicholson, even though you accepted the role. And he was pissed. And he, and the reason why, he was given the role of Riddler, but he refused it because he was so mad and he would not work with Warner Brothers until they apologized. I'm doing good, Jake. Thank you for asking. How are you? Yeah, I'm kind of figured the new Chucky would be lame. Um, Tim Burton disliked the Prince songs. Um, they were John Peters' idea. He did not want Prince doing the songs. He did not like any of them. Yep, John Peters was the one who brought in Prince for the songs. It, I tried to look for who he wanted for music, but it didn't get, it didn't give me that information. Uh, dang, was it hard for Warner Brothers to apologize? Such a missed opportunity. They ended up apologizing later on down the road, but not anytime soon before that role of Riddler. Uh, Ra, type in chat. I need to whisper you something. Okay. I will type in chat. <laughs> the Shining is amazing. You need to watch The Shining. Uh, Brad Dorf was uh, Grandma Wormtong in The Lord of the Rings Tower. Yeah. He's played in so many movies. Brad Dorf has played in millions of movies. Um, the Bat Dance. He did not like Prince's music. None of it. No. He did not. Uh, the new Chucky, I don't see it being that great. No, I don't own that one, Whispers. I don't own that one. Uh, William Defoe was the front runner for the role of Joker as well. When they were hashing out ideas for the Joker, it didn't automatically go to Jack Nicholson. There were numerous ideas for the role of Joker. And William Defoe, now we all know who William Defoe is. He is batshit. Oh my God, Dillinger, he is batshit crazy. He is amazing. Um, okay, I can do that, Whispers. Thank you very much. I can definitely do that. Um, you, oh, he is, I love William Dafoe. He's fucking amazing. So when they were hashing out who they wanted to be as Joker, Jack Nicholson's name was thrown in there. Robin Williams, Brad Dorif, William Dafoe was the front runner of the role of Joker. And, um, Sam Ham recalls, we thought, well, William Dafoe looks just like the Joker. They would not have to do so much makeup work. Um, because he does sort of kind of look like the Joker. Uh, but William Defoe did not make the cut. Um, there was Brad Dorf, William Defoe, Robin Williams, and uh, Jack Nicholson. I think Defoe would have been amazing. You haven't seen many Stephen King movies? Oh my God. William Defoe is from Appleton, an hour from here. That is awesome, Bicycle. He's a great actor. Uh, he can play any role. I loved him in Boondock Saints. Uh, I think Robin Williams' best role was Sly Photo Guy from Underrated One One Hour Photo. Yeah, that was a creepy friggin' film. Yeah, he was great in that film. Um, yes, the book is really good. You need to read the books first before you watch the movies. The books are better, I think, but the movies really put it into a visual orgasm for you. Uh, and yes, I said a visual orgasm. Uh, just paint a foe's hair green and call it a day. Exactly. Brokus, how are you? I can see Brad as a joker. He has a little something that's not right about him. Oh, yeah, he does. In his face, he has that. Uh, Naya, Senpai, thank you for that auto host. I do appreciate it. Bam, thank you so much, Bam, for that auto host as well, guys. Thank you for that support. I do appreciate it. Um, about one hour in to the film... The handwritten note that's on the table that accompanies the gas mask in uh, the museum, that's Tim, Burton's, um, that's Tim Burton's signature. I orgasm. Yes. See? No. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Wait. When something is so amazing. That, okay. Okay. Good. I thought it was going to be something else. I get worried about reading those urban things. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and Defoe's shit-talking character in Boondock Saints is funny and makes an original gay character. I agree. I love him in Boondock Saints. Uh, I am back. Welcome back, serial killer. I can resume with the show. Perfect, perfect. 
Uh, I have a load of Stephen King books and films. The creepiest film of Stephen King's movies is 1408. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, the police were called in when two reels of footage, about 20 minutes worth of the movie, was stolen from the set. So um, there are two reels of footage that walked out of the studio and the, the real police were called in to investigate. No more information on that as well. Uh, do you guys know the, the hooker in the opening scene? You guys remember the opening scene in Batman? And there's a hooker there, you know, talking to the cops, whatnot, in the area. That hooker was meant to be 14 years old. <laughs> And it was supposed to be portraying a 14-year-old hooker talking to the Gotham police, which was to tell you how, kind of give you an idea of how corrupted the Gotham police department was. <laughs> yeah, but that was removed as a 14-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought that was uh, interesting. And um, do you know that uh, Michael Keaton... Wasn't the first choice for Batman. It was not the first choice for Batman. Do you guys know who the first choice for Batman was? It's going to blow your fucking minds if you don't know. And I'm glad it wasn't. I'm glad he turned down the role. Um, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson was the first choice of Batman, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne. Nope, was not, Keanu was not even, no, he was way too young, outlandish, way too young. <laughs> he was too busy doing and already committed to Lethal Weapon 2 in 1989. Yeah, he turned it down. Michael Keaton only did comedies before Batman. He did a few comedy roles, a few dramatic roles, but um, he was not the first choice for Batman. Thank fuck he turned it down. Yeah. Mel Gibson was the studio's first choice. Mm -hmm. But thank goodness Lethal, Lethal Weapon 2 was being created and he was already committed to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Michael Keaton only did... Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of shit that was going on. I can see Batman going on an anti-Semite. Well, this, this is before his anti-Semite thing this um his whole rant right this is in 1989 this is before the crazy mel gibson this was the normal mel gibson who liked to play in mad max and made australian films and um totally different mel gibson of the time right this is a different mel gibson but i still don't think this i don't think mel gibson would have been a good batman yeah no and i didn't think george Clooney would be a great batman either uh, that was Mel Gibson when he has the redonk mullet. Yes, exactly. When he was the crazy Mad Max, uh, he did a lot of Australian-made movies, which I don't know if you've ever seen any of uh, Mel Gibson's movies before he did Mad Max. Mad Max was actually, oh, uh, yeah. He had some really good movies back in Australia. Um, no, Mad Max was never the same. Uh, do you also know that Sam Raimi was in contention to direct Batman, but he was overlooked? Because he was not a big enough name in the industry. Could you imagine Sam Raimi directing Batman? I mean, he did do Spider-Man. A thank you. And every time I close my eyes, I thank the Lord that I've got Regal. Yeah, and you've got Ache too. And every time I think of it, I pinch myself because I don't believe it's true. Yeah, that someone like Regal loves Ake too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for those Amber's Ake. I appreciate it. I think he would have been good. I love Sam Raimi. I love Sam Raimi as a director. I thought the current grudge was really good. Uh, he did Darkman. He did Spider-Man. He would back then, Scott Escroto, Sam Raimi was not. Back in 1989, no. No. Sam Raimi's career did not explode until later on, coming down in the middle of the 90s. He, he was still not a big uh, director at that point. In the horror industry, he was. But you got to remember, horror is a very tiny niche. It is nothing compared to all of these other formats, comedy, drama, action, 
it's very small and Sam Raimi in 1989 was not big enough was not a big enough name and he was overlooked for the director role of Batman hi avoiding Bell how are you I thought I seen uh, the grudge 2019 uh, directed by Sam Raimi I thought it was really good I won't give any spoilers but I thought it was really good and it's w definitely worth a watch Sam Raimi does bring out his vision of the grudge I wonder if Bruce Campbell would be a cool joker mm, no I don't I don't think so I I love Bruce Campbell I don't see him playing a good joker no I don't think so. Who's your puppy? Mwah, thank you for that host. Uh, Burton, Raimi, Elfman together on a movie would be a dream come true. It would be kind of, I couldn't imagine the kind of craziness they would have came up with. Uh, throw some Tarantino up in that bitch as well. Because Tarantino is one of my other favorite directors. Um, oh, yes, Grotto. Bruce Campbell would have been good as Scarecrow. Yes, not the Joker, but Scarecrow for sure. Yeah. And you can see Campbell as Two-Face. Yeah, because he did play Good Ash and Evil Ash, right? So I could see that. I could see him being a Two-Face. Um, it's hard remembering those songs after months. I bet it would be Ake. Uh, I would love a Burton direction. Uh, yeah, direction with a Tarantino Rodriguez. Oh, my God. That's an orgasm right there for eyes. Uh, he got that swagger about him like Two-Face. He does. Bruce can have that swagger. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see Campbell as the tinker. That as well. Oh, I think those guys need to get together for a movie. Then direct it, write it together. You know, I think it would be an amazing movie. Uh, and we've got we've got nice amount of time right now to go and check out a couple of trailers that are for upcoming horror movies that are happening. Uh, there are a couple of upcoming horror movies. I don't know if you guys have... Um, what was that uh, movie that you were talking about, Jimmy, when you came in? Where's my YouTube? YouTube. Uh, Morbius. Okay, let's see if we can get a Morbius. Um, I didn't watch the Morbius trailer. Does it have nipples of mass destruction into it? But I do see the trailer here, so I'm going to quickly um, skim through this bad boy to see if there's any nipples of mass destruction or actually how Miss Chicken Arms would say nipples of Massachusetts destruction. Um, Mixer's terms of service is very clear on nipples. And while the grudge trailer, I had to actually bleep out a section. Uh, so we're going to we're going to check out a uh, trailer which is an association of Marvel. So we're going to check that out here. Um, oh, there is nipples in the first beginning. So I'm going to, um, oh. Okay. I can't show you the first part. So we're going to show you Morbius. Uh, really hoping Morbius does, in fact, set the foundation for Sinister Six like it says they're going to do. Who knows? Who knows? I like Tarantino's old work, but lost respect for him in his last movie. Which one? The one about Sharon Tate? I haven't seen Hollywood yet because I want to see the three-hour version. Uh, there's a new horror movie coming out called Come to Daddy. Don't know if and... Oh, yeah, see, we definitely have to watch these trailers beforehand before I can show them. I can't show the guy shirtless, Jimmy. No, I can't show any nipples. Any sort of nipple, I could get in trouble. So, um, unless I get written permission from Mixer to show any sort. I had to actually take down a video, Jimmy, from the Slash Street Boys with Leatherface showing his nips. There was a, there's a part in the video of Slash Street Boys where Leatherface is wearing his Leatherface mask. He's on a boat and his shirt's open and he's got, the, you know, the, the yeah, uh, there's nipples and I couldn't, I had to take that video down. Yeah, I can see if I can get approval for that, but I actually had to cut out the first part of this trailer because of the nipple scene the nipple action that is in it i mean at least it covers all nipples and not just female nipples i agree with you as it goes for both sexes michelle mwah, thank you for that host i do appreciate it refresh yourself if you are getting lag we are going to do a i wonder can i capture it nope that's my chat 
I want it catching chat. So we're going to do the Morbius trailer here. All right, we're going to check out Morbius. Again, I am uh, having to cut out the first part of this. You guys cannot see it. There is a shirtless man. There are nipples. And well, I'm not being suspended over that. Uh, I need to send Mixer a ton of emails with pics of my beefy man nips. Yeah, you get suspended. The, yes, 18 plus. There are no nipples allowed. Um, you can draw a character, but the, the focus of attention cannot be on the genitalia or the boobs of a character. They state that very clear as day in, in there. Um, Zombie Punk, thank you for the auto host. I do appreciate it. I think you're... I think your time should be longer. Um, it should be longer. I think that'll be annoying to some people, but we can talk about that on Tuesday. Um, but yes, even quick nipples can't be shown. Um, but I do have um, my Chad. It's part of a video game where you do see him. Uh, but anyways, we are going to go and check out the trailer to Morbius. Michael. I've known you since you were a child. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to the disease, you'll find it. There is in the beginning a shirtless Jared Leto in the beginning, and I had to cut that out. I'm still here if not to fix this. I have a rare blood disease and I'm gonna have that out of time. You could not have that as the focus pixel. This could be my last um, you can draw, but it cannot be the focus of your drawing. You something, right? It can't be the focus of it. So you can draw, you have exactly to be on 18 legal. plus if you were gonna draw any type of nudity. Male or female. You could hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. What cost? I like Jared Leto. Yeah, you make those terms of service. It's, it's, it's pretty clear on that. If you I'm actually do explanation point T O S, we'll give you the terms of service of Mixer, and I highly suggest anybody who is on Mixer to give it a quick read. God, I love that purple color. Echolocation. And an overpowering urge to consume blood. He does. He does, Brokers. I like Leto. How far are we allowed to go? To fix oh, something yes. that's broken. Until the remedy. <laughs> is worse than the disease. <laughs> yes, but you see nothing. So it was a quick nothing. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? <laughs> and yep, we got a shot of Michael Keaton. Um, you didn't notice it. Most people didn't notice it. And that's what I was okay with. But the very beginning part, there was a long shirtless scene that I could not show you guys. There was a long short listing that I could not show you. Takashi, how are you? Good day. Good day. Uh, that is such a ridiculous thing. I mean, The Witcher, it can't be the focus, guys. You can actually show it, but it cannot be the focus. And I am not going to take any risks in showing things, right? Unless I get full on permission from Mixer. He made Bruce Lee's fictional character. Everything in Once Upon a Time is a spin on that time. It's not a literal or a docu-movie. Uh, nothing in the movie is true except the time and the character's name. Oh, thank you, Stereo Killer, for that. Uh, there was nothing to notice. Exactly, there was nothing. You got to go pee? Go! 
Uh, I would actually like to smack Tarantino around to for the disrespect he showed Bruce Lee just because he wanted to make hype for the movie. It does. It, so you didn't like it because of what he did with Bruce Lee, but it was all fictional, right? Mr. Q, thank you for that auto host. Morbid doesn't have his accent. Hmm. Witcher is good, right? Again, if you are an artist and you're drawing adult themed stuff, yes, you are able to do that on 18 on Mixer. It's just that the sex or the parts of the body cannot be the main focus. So you can't have the webcam focusing on boobs, right? Um, didn't the bat suit have nips? Yes. The other Batmans don't have nipples. Because nipples are weapons of mass destruction. I don't think it was a disrespect though, Scroto. I don't know. I, I like Tarantino though. That's just me. Um, what time? Oh, we got time for our trivia. So we are going to have our trivia and we're going to, um, yeah, save those changes. Um, laser nips, baby laser nips. I just walked in on another, on other Batman's don't have nipples. Well, if you notice, the other Batman suits don't have nipples. Uh, this stream is adorable. You guys' energy is the best. Thank you very much, Pixel Bunny. We try to be a very welcoming, open, having fun community. And uh, I think we hit nail that on the head each and every time. Mino, mwah, thank you for that host. Kakashi, mwah, thank you for that host. How are you doing, Dame? Um, if you did miss today's show, you will be able to catch everything from the artwork to my research to a VOD at the by the end of day today will also be in my discord all of the information that you've seen today will be in my discord and um the vod will be on my youtube channel for you guys to watch Ooh, i beat you sneaky tiger i'll beat you uh i am super shy and i have never felt more at home in this stream well thank you pixel i really enjoy that thank you very much for that compliment i am i heard i didn't even know how many followers i had damn I didn't. And then the other day we were talking and someone's like, you're not too far off of 17K. I was like, what? So our end of the year goal is 20,000 followers by the end. So by December 31st, 2020, we are hoping to hit 20,000 followers. Pixel Bunny Studio, welcome to the Horde. Thank you so much for that follow. I'm glad you're enjoying it here. Um, this is the quiz scene. Don't you love it? It's made by the one and only Mr. Metro Birdman. I can't believe I didn't follow. It's all good. It is all good. We are happy to have you here. Yeah, so the goal, my milestone goal for the end of the year is 20,000 followers. I am almost at 17K. And the reason why I say by the end of the year is I don't play trendy games. I play horror games and do horror based web shows. So I think 20K is realistic for the end of the year. I heard him talk bad about Bruce Lee for real. The Lee family was disgusted. Oh, really? I didn't. I didn't know that outlandish. Himself when he made the movie, Tarantino is the only person that actually went to the Tate family and asked for permission to make a film. Oh, well, thank you, Pixel. Thank you. I have no doubt you'll exceed 20,000 by 2021. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think, I think 20,000 followers by the end of 2020 would is, is, is on par, I think, on par. Um, if you pay attention, you have a chance to win trivia. Exactly. You say 21K by then? I'm saying 20,000 by the end of December 31st of 2020. And just because I don't play trendy games. You know how long it took me to hit 17K? Uh, let's get on with this trivia. This trivia, guys, is based on everything that we have spoken about already. Uh, we have seven questions. Usually we have six. But we have seven questions this time. And uh, you think 21K? We'll, we'll see. Ooh, Ake just played a stream loots card. Pick one person in chat to do emojis for three mil minutes. And he picks Dillinger. Ooh, during trivia time? I don't know if that's allowed. That's like timing somebody out. Uh, Brad Pitt's character in Once Upon a Time seems like Tarantino's perfect version of the coolest guy, including being able to beat up a legendary martial artist, in my opinion. Ooh, that is, that's a good point. I never seen Hollywood. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. Crimson, thank you for those sparks. I don't know, Outlandish. 
Yeah, uh, I can't stop. Got to look uh, after my health. I usually leave your tab up, though. Thank you so much, Dame. I definitely appreciate the support tremendously. Thank you. Um, Dillinger, oh, so you want Dillinger for six minutes. And Dillinger is like, nah, nah, nah. So now Dillinger is picking ache. Dillinger is picking ache. This is getting savage up in here. Um, and But that is support nonetheless. And I do, exactly, Metro. I appreciate the auto hosts. I appreciate the tabs being left up. I appreciate the tweets, the retweets, the lurks. I, re I appreciate everything. Unfortunately, that scene is not on the web show scene. So basically, they're, they're basically um, washing each other out. Hi, Mama Ducky. Hi, Mama Ducky. No, it's not, it's not on the scene. Mm hmm. I am too out of these damn cat monsters. Ooh, the time and amount, eh? All right. So there's seven questions in this. Each person who wins, who gets the question first, my mod's not included. Those that get the question first in chat receive a stream loot's chest. Uh, only thing she doesn't it's, is when I shadow mod and get them famous raw quotes, right? Right? Um,. Perfect. I have been on Mixer a week and have made friends and appreciate everyone I've ran into. I had a streamer come into my stream last night and give me a warm welcome. And now I want to be now I want to be a more proactive because of it. I need more friends because in a lot of other platforms, everyone, you know what? Each each platform has their toxicity. We have less of it because we are smaller than most other sites, right? You bring us up against YouTube and Twitch. We are a lot smaller than to YouTube and Twitch. They're going to have more toxicity because they have more people. Uh, we have our toxicity here, but we try to like get the fuck out. We don't want that. So we associate ourselves with some of the most amazing people here on Mixer. Mm, thank you, Outlanders. Exactly. Pixel Bunny Studios, welcome to Mixer. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask as well as every Tuesday. I host Streamer Chat Tuesdays here on Mixer. It is your time to come in and ask questions about content creation, bots, all sorts of things, network and make friends in the industry as we have a little bit of everything here when we do Streamer Chat Tuesdays. Yeah, we do get a slash out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so our first question, I'm gonna give you, the topic is going to be on Tim Burton, okay? This is our first trivia question. Um, what films did Tim Burton work on for Disney? There were two that I told you guys about this morning. There were two. You need to say both. Daddy Page, GG's, Sneaky Tiger, let me know when it's sent, my darling. Thank you so much, Dark, for that gif. I like it. Thank you for those sparks. But, yep, The Black Cauldron and Fox and the Hound were the two Disney films he worked on before he was being... Your stuff is too scary for kids. Yeah, I don't know why, Lacey. I fixed it. It says that you can do everything, so I don't understand why. I did fix it. There goes the timer light. Ding! Um, but that's funny because the MIU is behind the whole scene. The Black Holding has an interesting history. It definitely does. Um, Max, 928569, welcome to the Horde. Thank you for the follow. Um... And it has, has it been sent? Thank you, Sneaky Tiger. Thank you. Um, okay, so the next, thank you for those gift. Thank you for that gift. Thank you for those sparks. The next set of questions is going to be on Sweeney Todd. What was the address on Miss Lovett's shop? Erratic agent, GG is, GG's erratic agent. You have stream loads, right? Good job. All right. Who's sending it? You got it, Regal? Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, which chest would you like? We have a horror, haunted, Friday the 13th, and dead by daylight. Your choice if you'd like. Oh, a horror chest. There is going to be a cosplay uh, in the horror, or is it the haunted edition? Oh, the horror. No, the horror collection. There will be cosplay uh, stream loots cards added to that soon. Um, 
okay so our next question thank you regal our next question is what was the other musical johnny depp did before sweeney todd dillinger banks ggs cry baby uh what was the cosplay is there no the cosplay the ones with masks that can go anywhere you want regal are we did we add them in yet and sneaky tiger would like to know dillinger banks what chest would you like it is in the horror. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Regal. I am getting off topic, but has anyone seen Fire and Ice? No, I have not. Perfect. So we do have a few new stream loots cards of me wearing certain masks. And it's sent. Thank you, Sneaky Tiger. The last question for Sweeney Todd is, what was the colors of Sweeney Todd's bathing suit? Mm -hmm. Dillinger Banks got it again. Not black and red. It was black and white striped. Why? Because Tim Burton's favorite lucky thing is black and white stripes. A pair of socks, actually. G Gs. What kind of chest would you like, Dillinger? Hi, Raven. How are you? What do you have to check, Mino? A haunted again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, all of today's research that you guys see here. Um, oh, Sweeney Todd. Yes, you definitely need to watch it. Uh, Tim Burton's favorite socks and lucky go-to are a pair of socks that are black and white striped. The reason why you see that in all of Burton's films, you'll see something of black and white striped nature. That is his lucky charm. He has a pair of socks, and, and he does wear black and white striped socks for that reason. Mm-hmm. And an interest, interesting fact is that Tim Burton had Miss Lovett and Sweeney Todd wear black and white striped. Uh, black and white striped bathing suit for Sweeney Todd, and Miss Lovett's outfit also had black and white stripes. Beetlejuice, uh, there is plenty in Nightmare Before Fil Nightmare. Uh, before Christmas, uh, Coraline, and numerous others. Yes, yes. Uh, sent, is that perfect? Dillinger, your chest was sent. Now we're going on to the Batman questions. We've got three questions here. Who was offered the role of Joker before Nicholson? And Dillinger's got it right again, Robin Williams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Mel Gibson was not given the the choice he was on the table but who was actually offered the role was Williams Williams was offered the role um he was uh Mel Gibson was first choice but he was already running with a lethal weapon too and let me know when that is sent sneaky Thank you, thank you, thank you. Explanation Point Morgue. For those of you that haven't done Explanation Point Morgue recently, get it now. 10,000 hot fresh limbs are waiting for you from Dr. Herbert West. Uh, he's got the dogs typing out the answers for him. Probably, probably. Uh, our next question. The Batmobile bears a strong resemblance to what? Dillinger down with it again. Thrust two. Yep. The Batmobile bears very strong resemblance to the British Thrust 2 jet-propelled car. Moon Smurf, don't apologize. It's all good, darling. All good. Um, dealer's Choice, Regal. How are you feeling, Moon Smurf? Uh, all of today's information, the research, the trivia, the artwork, and VOD of today's show will be in Discord. So if you have missed any part of it and would like to catch the beginning part of Tim Burton or Sweeney Todd, you will be able to in Discord and you will be able to in you on YouTube. I will have everything there for you to peruse and on my website if you all want it in one place. Uh, the next question is, Who was first choice to be Batman? And eight got it right. Gibson, Mel Gibson was first choice to be Batman. See, Joker 
was offered well tim burton wanted brad doroff as joker as well as defoe but uh the studio turned down doroff and so they used williams right um now for batman's first choice was mill gibson yep and that concludes our our trivia for coffee chat of horrors uh, that is our trivia there. Oh, and we are on effing time. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Two and a half hours. I was able to give you information on three subjects, all about Tim Burton. And we are on effing time. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Impala, Ferrari, London bus, Harriet, Jet, Honda Civic. Exactly, Dillinger. That is what made up the Mapmobile. Off topic, but Netflix show October Faction is an interesting show if you haven't watched it. No, I have not watched it yet, Mino. I will have to take a look at that if it's on Canadian Netflix. Uh, our Netflix, our Shutter, our Crave is all different than the American versions. Uh, wow, Brad Dorff would have been a good joker. Yeah, he was. T Tim Burton wanted Brad Dorff. Warner Brothers said no. Those notes, guys, it does. It does pay off to pay attention to what I repeat when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing coffee chat of horrors I make sure I'm repeating certain things I do that because these are the things that are gonna be in the trivia killer Dave mwah, thank you for that host I write out the trivia questions when I'm doing the actual research so that when I am reading you guys the research that I have found and I repeat certain things right exactly dark well let's thank mel for not ruining your childhood uh he would not have been a good batman not at all not at all um but that is really awesome guys thank you so much for enjoying coffee chat of horrors with me uh we will have our credits um we also have some information and teasers we're going to be uh sharing uh yeah you think edward cullen is going Mm. Yeah, that's me. No, that's my take on it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sparkly fucking vampires, my ass. Uh, that famous Chucky laugh could work for Joker. Yeah, it could have. It could have. It could have. I am ache. I am still waiting to hear back. I'm going to give them a call Monday morning. I have a person that I need to speak to. His name is Kernst. So uh, they haven't gotten back to me since Friday so I'm gonna be giving them a call in the morning to see what's happening it's not as quick and easy as just buying something online so I am waiting I have been in contact with them twice so now I'm just waiting for more information they did not contact me yesterday I mean on Friday so I will be uh, contacting them Monday morning they are ahead of me by I think three hours uh, so I should be able to get in touch with them the last unicorn ruined my life and I wanted the night I wanted the night, but the fire beast was so tempting. No sparkly stuff for Batman either. Um, did you know that they made a demon Batman at one point? Really, Dylan? Yeah, I don't like Pattinson at all in any movie, to be honest with you. I know you do, Ake. I know you do. Uh, if you have uh, The Chamber on Netflix, you should watch it. I'll definitely take a look at that. Vamps burn. They don't sparkle. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Genosaurus Rex, thank you for that auto host. I do appreciate it tremendously. I'm against Pattinson as Batman too, but after seeing his recent film, there is a shimmer of hope. Maybe. All right, Mino. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Monday is going to be uh, a normal stream, Dead by Daylight, at 11 a.m. on Monday. Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Streamer Chat Tuesdays. One of the topics with Streamer Chat Tuesdays is going to be teams. And uh, stream teams and teams, are they worth your time or are they not? Uh, that will be uh, Tuesday's topic, one of the topics we will be talking about. Hey, thank you for those, Ambers. You won yourself a stream loot chest. Which chest would you like? You got it? Awesome. Thank you. Um, what chest would you like? Toxic tits. I don't know which one that is. 
also February 2nd, guys. February 2nd, uh, we have Todd Jenkins uh, scheduled in as a special guest. Uh, that will, he is the, dire, what are you doing? He is the independent filmmaker, co-writer, and actor in Cherokee Creek. It's a horror comedy that we will be watching on Thursday. It is a two-hour movie. We are going to watch that on Thursday, guys, uh, after Mixer Stream. Uh, thank you so much, Ake, for those embers. You just got yourself 100,000 limbs. I have seen Jimmy, and the reason why we haven't moved over to the new Firebot is because the new Firebot's not going to have my custom scripts. So I have yet to move over. I actually got to talk to Dragon and Crowbar team to see if they're going to keep the old Firebot up and running. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. As I'm fucking saying that, Mr. Sassmaster is telling me some news that they updated last night that it says it's going to support V4 scripts. So if it actually supports it, we're going to have our motherfucking credits with the new Firebot. Ake, thank you so much for those embers. I do appreciate it. Sneaky Tiger, you got it. Perfect. The Toxic Tits Chests are the Haunted Chest Collection by the Thumbnail. Okay, Regal, thank you. I did not realize this. Cherokee Creek is an amazing movie. I've already seen it. I started watching it last night, and then I had to fall asleep. Um, that would have been, like, my fourth time seeing the movie within, like, a two-week span period. Uh, we will be watching on Thursday. I'm cutting the stream short on Thursday so we can watch the movie Cherokee Creek together as a watching party. I own it on Blu-ray thanks to Dusty Balls. I've got a signed copy by the cast and director. And so thank you, Dusty Balls, for that. And we will be watching that on Thursday after the stream. Uh, what are we watching? It's called Cherokee Creek. Uh, you can rent it on Amazon Prime. But it was a thank you for those embers yet again. I do appreciate them. Um, Sneaky Tiger, I love your face and I will see you later. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. I wanted to tell you that it was removed from Amazon Prime because of being offensive and censorship. Um, that is one of the reasons why it was removed. People were offended by some of the humor in this movie. Uh, Skin Horse, thank you for those embers, my friend. Book, you got it. Thank you very much. Let's see what the Wheel of Horror brings you. A hundred thousand limbs. GG, Skin Horse. Um, but yes. If you guys watch the movie and have an Amazon Prime account and can leave a review for them, that would be amazing as they did receive several bad reviews, but the movie isn't bad at all, guys. It was just that you have people who get hurt easily. Um, you get people who are hurt easily by the comedy in the movie the comedy is literally man humor it's a man horror movie it is funny are you offended i don't give a fuck watch the movie it's a good one if you are that easily offended you're really in the wrong stream offensive humor that's it's a it's a raunchy b grade and i'm saying raunchy b grade horror film and it's that's what I'm telling you, I uh, love, oh, I love your face, Miss Chicken. Love your face. People are always getting butthurt over shit. Exactly. Uh, thick skin is required. The movie is funny as fuck. It is guy humor. And if you can't handle guy humor, that's your problem. Uh, don't leave it a bad review because you can't handle it. That's how I, that's what I feel when it comes to people giving bad reviews. They, they go off of it because they're offended. There's a fuck about your feelings, right? It was a good movie. Uh, I still love that Gary Busey movie. Oh my God, book. It's a great movie. Ginger Dead Man. Ginger Dead Man's a great movie. And Gary Busey is crazy motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Suck it up, buttercup. Mm-hmm. I agree, serial killer. I, oh, so, Scroto. I have seen this movie so much that I laugh before it happens. I was doing it last night. I was watching it with Heavy. And we're going to watch it today. Uh, do not watch it around your spawn. I will tell you this right now. Do not watch it with your spawns in the house. If you're going to watch it while your spawns are awake, close your fucking door. Put it to you that way. I cannot shave my furry kitty. She's soft like a bunny ache. 
Uh, if you don't like it, then exactly, Cereal, exactly. But you know what? They got a lot of bad reviews. PandaCast, thank you for that auto host. I do appreciate it. They had a lot of bad reviews, and it was taken off of Amazon Prime to watch for free. You can rent it for 99 cents. The name is called Cherokee Creek. It's written, co-written, but directed and acted in Todd Jenkins. Todd Jenkins will be here on February 2nd. We will have his face on screen with us. So you will get to see the man who acted and co-writed and directed the film. And you guys will get to ask him questions on the spot. A live Q&A with independent filmmaker Todd Jenkins. Uh, it's called Cherokee Creek. We will be watching this on the Blu-ray in a viewing party on Thursday after the stream. This is a two-hour movie. It's an hour and 52 minutes. And we will be watching that on Thursday if you want to watch it with us. And February 2nd will be all hands on deck as well. But it will be a fun time, I think. We'll have questions. We'll have our scripted questions, obviously, that we're going to ask them. And then you guys can ask questions, if you like, throughout the whole interview on the 2nd. Um, just a lot of people getting offended over Cherokee Creek. What would you guys like to watch today? What would you guys like to watch today? We're going to raid somebody. Um, nobody on the team is live right now. And if you're wondering what team are you talking about, I am talking about uh, the Monster Squad, which is a Horde stream team um, based on the Horde. Uh, let me re -get, let me restore that for you as it, Catbot got you. It makes me want to offend them more until it breaks the stick up their ass. I completely agree with you. Um... Let's see. Also, another little tidbit. I was on set yesterday. Not saying for what, but I will tell you there is a on-set short video that we may release here next week. Uh, what time Thursday? Let's see. It's about a two-hour movie, so three to four, four to five-ish. So I'm thinking about, it'll probably be about 2.30 my time which is 4.30 East Coast time. But again, you can rent this on Amazon on Amazon Prime Video for 99 cents American, $1. Uh, but that would be the time that I would be watching it. Ew, roadblocks. Uh, I heard people hated the horror movie Gutter Balls because of the characters kept saying fuck yeah. Yeah, uh, you're going to be offended about something. Be offended about Patterson as Batman, right? Uh, don't forget... Oh my God, SSJ's birthday is on the second as well. Well, SSJ, I'm gonna have to remember that. Make a make a note of that, guys. February second, so we're gonna have to sing SSJ Happy Born Day at 9:30 in the morning. Um, Todd Jenkins will be on at 10 a.m. Uh, we'll have 30 minutes of chill chat time, and that's where we're gonna sing Happy Born Day to SSJ. I'm very excited about you being on set, but if it's stressing you out, don't push yourself. I'm, I'll, I'll, it's just out of my comfort zone, so we'll work on it. Um, Midget Clown said at meetings for infrastructure on zoning laws. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys want to watch? Uh, we have some people doing web shows. We've got Conan Exiles, Paladins. Um, you know what? I have not rated this person. Um, fellow Canadian, uh, BDC member, uh, I am going to raid, we're going to watch some Paladins, we are going to watch some Paladins, and we are going to raid Bombaclot Boy, that's who we're going to raid, uh, but before we do any of that, before we do any of that, we are going to roll the beautiful credits and uh, discuss and say thank you, also remember guys, February is Women in Horror Month as well so we'll be doing some information on women in horror i usually ask for midget clown porn but i thought i'd change it up a bit right gutter balls is brutal horror movie with cool kills that it is i didn't even know he streamed that is exciting it is exciting i love seeing new people so let's go on to our credits guys and let's see if we rise Rise, my beautiful credits. I'm excited. We're going to be able to keep this, hopefully. We're going to hopefully keep these. Hopefully. Roz got some horror, excellent women in horror information. I definitely do rise from the grave. To my Patreon sponsors right there, that group of you. Thank you so very much for believing in me and my dream of being a content creator full-time. 
to my subs here on Mixer. Thank you very much for believing in my dream of being a full-time content creator and giving me your hard-earned money. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subs today, the resubs. I truly appreciate them, guys. Thank you so very much. To the new Horde members, welcome. I hope you enjoyed your stay and this beautiful long list of hosts. Thank you so very much for putting the Horde and I on your channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the fact that you want to support the Horde and I and putting us on your channel for your community. And if you're not a streamer and you put us on your channel, thank you very much for helping us get more exposure on the Mixer platform. So thank you.